I'm mad. I got a canker sore on my tongue. Everything hurts. Is that... <laughs> Shit. Is but, that... Is uh, that... Yeah, yeah but, but sorry, I've been a little bit grouchy. Uh, also, Black Friday happened, so I've spent, like, the entire weekend setting up new stuff. Which is a, comes with, like, lots of headaches, but uh, it's good that we have it. Yep. Good I now have you. a, uh, like, a TV that cooperates and uh, a laptop that is not dying, so I can, I can, like, put out highlight videos at a rate of more than one every two months again. Yep, and like that's good. Um, which you know, you you mentioned that uh, you're having issues with uh, with finding like a laptop to fit your needs, and uh, I still didn't. Now, you still didn't. You still had to compromise. Yeah, I have sent back like three or four laptops now that were advertised as Windows 10 and came with Windows 11, and so I decided, you know what? I if I'm gonna do this, I might as well get a good deal. Waited till Black Friday. And ordered another one that was advertised as Windows 10. And guess what it came with? Windows 11, baby! So I don't think I did this last time. I did get the 10,000, and I, uh, I got the Great Fairy. So we now have all four fairies. Good, which means you can upgrade your uh, clothing to I got maximum. a demon carver! The fuck? That, that is a strange looking wet. Oh, wait. What the I also got Horaikotes! That is it really right, Coats. <laughs> Tink. It didn't work very well. It, you're gonna, you have to just use that as like a regular weapon. I just wanted uh, to show. I have a better boomerang. I actually like the boomerangs now that I know how to use them. The the that's try good. ones. That's good. Uh oh. It, I did a lot of upgrades and I bought the uh, the Grudo like jewelry stuff, so I have that. I don't know why because like. It's not part of any sets, so there's, like, no reason to ever equip it. Well, I mean, it's, uh, it's, like, good to ha it'll be good to have. What the- What the fuck? I'm a, I'm a shivery Re skeleton. I see you didn't upgrade the, uh, the, the Berserker set yet. The Barbarian? Yeah. No, I, I need Lionel Tooths for that. So I thought, you know what, I'm far enough along in the game, I'm gonna try to tackle a Lionel. Unfortunately, yeah. the first one that I ran into was a white main. <laughs> that doesn't it even didn't drop, go like, well. Right. That didn't even... That, well, I mean, you, you lead it later, but... Yeah, so... If you're not skilled in combat in that, like, with the... With, uh, the with, with like, and just in this game, then it's gonna be difficult. Well, the you, only like, attack that, that it seemed like I was able to, like, dodge and do the flurry with at all was, like, a headlong charge. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, that's the easiest. But, so, uh, um, yeah, I, I don't know about that, uh, I have to find a red line, I'll, I'll start with that. Uh, yeah. so, we haven't done the Gorons yet, and we haven't done the Zoras yet. How many hearts are you at? At 14, I think. Okay, go to, go to Hyrule Forest. That's what I was gonna say, we, we also have not gone to the forest, and I was... Well, that's our first, that's our first place we're gonna go to. It's weird doing this, it's like, it's less like, uh... Like uh, like a full on like let's play and more like just a travel like a Breath of the Wild travel log. It, it's weird playing a game where I'm blind but you know things. It's I don't know everything. I just I know. Yeah, I know enough. Uh, by the way, this is also the first stream where I have set up the audio so that uh, everything is like on different tracks for editing later if need be. Which we don't necessarily need for Breath of the Wild. We might need it for an upcoming Tony Hawk stream. But like uh, if anything like sounds weird, let me rave. know. You look like you're about to go on a rave. Like, just like a, like... Yeah, skeleton rave. Skeleton rave. I found out about some, like, uh, some knockoff punch-out game on the Game Boy Advance recently. Oh, yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> knockoff punch-out? And it one of the... No, it's not called Punch Out. It's uh, let, let me let me look. I just posted in like the in the Wickersham Discord. Okay. Well, you... It popped up in my uh, my recommended, Wade Hickston's Counter Punch. Wade, H who the fuck is Wade Hickston? And uh, some of the enemies include like uh, a robot controlled by a kid wearing power gloves, a gorilla. Wait, they ripped off Real Steel. And uh, so some girl at a rave. 
just Wade. gets pissed off and puts on some boxing gloves. Wade Hickston. H i x t o n. Yeah, I, I, I guess it the first time. Ama like amazingly enough. Okay, I typed in Wade Hickston. Just Wade Hickston, and the first thing that pops up is just links to Wade Hickston's counterpunch. So, this so is it's a, a fictional character. I, I guess it's the guy. A oh wow, that cover. Not pictured Wade Hickson himself. Okay, so the guy is... So Wade Hickson is not on the cover. That, that's like Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, only Mike Tyson isn't in it. Yeah, it's like it's like if Mike Tyson's Punch-Out just came as, like, Mr. Sandman's Punch-Out. But they still called it Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, just put yeah. his name on it. Okay, generic guy Wade Hickson is on his way back from a monster truck rally when his... Suddenly, his car breaks down in the middle of the desert road. Fortunately, a friendly mechanic named Matt. <laughs> oh, wow. That's, uh... I think the takes... first dude you fight is called, like, MC Scrub or something. Okay, yeah, like Glass Joe. So it is just basically, a, like, a knockoff, uh... It's stylish. Wade Hickson's counterpunch... Plays very similarly to Nintendo's Punch Out. No shit. You don't say. You battle. Vi oh, uh, welcome to Lost Woods. Oh, come back, Ravens. I haven't killed one of you yet. What do I have equipped? Oh, I have the boomerang still. That's fine. Oh, so you play as Wade Hickston. You are Wade Hickston. Okay. It, it, it makes sense, because, again, he's apparently not a real person. <laughs> yeah. Like, I was thinking, like, there, there was, like, some random Z-tier boxer called uh, Wade Hickston that may, that maybe did, like, a crime or two. And then, and then he's just, like, that it is no notoriety except for this game. Hooray, Coats! So you said you knew how to, how to like, use it. Uh, I, I do. And I... That was obviously a poor place to use it, and I knew that. No, go back! I just wanted my boomerang! Well, you got the boomerang. The crows are still gone. Yeah, I know, oh, no I know nothing about this. I just assume so far that I'm following the torches. Yeah, you, you got it right. Are, are do the torches like are they not lit if I have fewer hearts or something? Um, no, that's not that's not why uh, you you need the hearts. So the, if I had come here like first thing, this would have been exactly like this. Yes, yes, I I, I believe so. I, I think it was for me when I when I got here. Hmm. Well, we're out of torches. Where's the fire pointing? The fire. Oh. This is the most Dark Souls this area looks. I'm going through the uh, Twilight Princess playthrough, and uh, you keep comparing Telma to a to a Dark Souls character. Because she's so, yeah. like, needlessly detailed compared to all the anime-looking characters. You might need uh, something flammable. Oh, what? Forest Dweller's Spear. I don't know if I've had one of these before. Yeah, um... What do I have? Not, not Kokiri, Korok. Korok. Okay. Kind of like my Harai Coats, but oh well. Oh, hey! You don't have to get rid of it. Its durability's high. Oh, is it? Yeah. I got like, another boomerang. Yeah, you... I got a better boomerang though. But but that one has like has like durability up plus. Alright, get rid of a uh, my weakest guard. I don't know why I have four guardian weapons, to be honest. Well, wait, wait, that one has like an increased attack! Yeah, but Are it's still it's attention? still the weakest of the four. Are you not paying attention to like Jack? It had an attack of twenty six with the okay. attack bonus. What you could use a shield with it. Okay, I can use a shield with this one, and it's 30. Okay. Alright, fair enough. Where am I going? Uh, you go... <laughs> follow, follow the, uh... The... Oh, right, the, the fire thing. Yeah. Where are you going? Lost Woods, where am I going? Truly a riddle for the ages.
Uh, just keep going. Don't straight line. Don't wander off. You remember Quop? I do remember Quop. Apparently, if you if you travel fast enough, it would just start playing that in the original version. Chariots of Fire. I don't think I did that right. Uh, well, we'll see. Looks like it's loading something new. This looks new. Does it? Yeah. Uh. Oh, I guess it's not. Yeah, you, you fucked up. <laughs> I, I think I remember this one giving me some trouble because I got here and I'm like, great, now what? Creepy forest. At least I'm not, like, turning into a Salphos or whatever. Yeah. Uh... What if I just burn everything? Well, and I'm sure the Koroks would, would be very unhappy with you. What are you doing? <laughs> You're gonna... <laughs> I don't know, that mouth looked like something. The, all, oh, and you're lost. No, I'm not. You're, okay. Look, shiny. What is in here? It's a, okay, you got an opal. I guess that's that's useful. That's not the way you're going, okay. Well, I did, I've yes. gone the same way like three times. What do you want? You're, 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 no, you're, you're not going the same way. You're just like. I went the same way the first two times. You, you didn't. You, you traveled slightly off. <laughs> okay. You gotta travel directly. You're, you're, if a guy is like, if you're following a flight plan and you just travel like, like like a fi like a few miles like off. You think the you think the fucking like uh, flight control is gonna f f allow the excuse of oh close enough? Direct. You gotta you gotta stay the course. You gotta be. Di You're moving off the fucking. It go direct goes into trees. <laughs> Why are you going like the longest way around? Now you're off course again. I'm getting back on course. Yeah, that's why the fog came for you. you go. All right, I'll go straight. Oh yeah, you're gonna prove you're gonna prove a point. You're gonna start walking up the tree, going, "Look at me, I'm going straight." Like yes, that's exactly Karen. what I'm gonna do. <laughs> you stand like a torch. Straight. <laughs> you didn't straight. light the torch. You fool. <laughs> straight. <laughs> Climb up the tree. <laughs> straight. You're with bless. <laughs> you Just hold are... up straight. <laughs> wow, don't be so don't be so butthurt. Just fucking just fucking okay, don't so like go the long way around. Tree. Just go just don't go the long way around. If you went uh, my point is if you went if you went right, you would have gone shorter way around and you wouldn't have gotten off the line. That's what I'm saying. Are you ignoring me? Fuck you're ignoring No, the me. left side was the shorter way around. Uh, no. Yeah, no. If you go, if you go right, you're. Uh... You think you said to climb the tree last time? I didn't say climb the fucking tree. I didn't say climb the tree. I said go around multiple times. You can check the fucking footage. And you're not. You're not lighting the, the fucking torch. And well, because I was you're... planning to climb the tree like, like, that time. Okay, well, that's not gonna work. Ah, you're... It's like you're, you're basically punching yourself in the face and going, Does this isn't to anger you? And this is with us knowing the solution. Imagine... If we did, no. If we didn't know the solution, we'd basically just be like, "What are you? What are you redoing? I don't know." 
Do you know? I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna look it up. Wait a sec. I'm gonna double check my work, because I'm going off of memory, and memory's un notoriously unreliable. There's two I torches, so I feel like we should go, like, the path between them. You think? You, yeah, you th that, that actually makes a lot of sense. Uh, that's probably the, the fucking answer to the question of what, what do you want me to do, game. Uh, alright. Still goes directly into that tree. Wait, no! Man! Torches out, and you go left! <laughs> you just. What? <laughs> okay, I'll go straight. <laughs> you're. You're. No, you, you were going on a straight. On like a straight path. You got. You got, like, caught up in something. I. Maybe. It I might straight off. into Fuck a it. tree. Fucking ignore me. Do, do what you're going to do. If you. Make it, you make it. If not, you're probably going to complain that the game is bad. So, I, I'm just going to look up what the solution is. This game desperately needs the Song of Storms and Sun Song, by the way. Uh, th that's what that's what resting by a campfire is for. Can't, can't make a campfire in the rain. <laughs> Find a cave! <laughs> Get inside shelter. That Alright. Uh, okay. How to get through the Lost Woods. You'll notice a lit torch. These torches... So you need the actual torch, not the fucking spear. According to this. Why? So the... <laughs> That's dumb. <laughs> uh, look, the embers! Is this because there was that dude in one of the stables who was like, it, it's the legendary Master Torch? From the two torches, things get more difficult. There are no more torches to guide you. If you go the wrong way, you'll be quickly enveloped by fog and brought back to the torches. If you are quick to react, you can escape, escape the fog, but it moves extremely fast. In order to find a way, use a torch or any other flammable weapon and light it at the two torches. Conveniently, there's an unlit torch standing there. Stand still and look at the embers flying off the top of the torch! So no, it's not a straight line. I guess not! Wait, stop! Stop! Cease! What? Okay, that way. I'm I watching. Like, is it going in any direction? I guess it is. I, I remembered it a certain way. I guess I was wrong, okay? I'm... I'm I get it, like I said about memory. Hello, Fox. Hey, well, don't worry, this is how you'd normally act. Keep following the embers until you eventually find your way. Be a dick move for this torch to run out. If it runs out, you could always relight it with, like, flint or something. Indeed. Oh, does it not, like, burn up and get destroyed? I don't think so. Like... There's a fucking shrine here! Fuck you, game! <laughs> Wait, what? It... It's weird because, like, I I react this way naturally, but if I ever wanted to become like a video essayist, I I'd, I'd probably just be way more sedate and chill than this. How many corbs do I have? Oh, I have enough uh, for another thing. Heart or stamina? Fucking wait, is your skeleton outfit the the strongest defense you got right now? No. I also, it doesn't seem to, it has the disguise effect, but it doesn't seem to work. Disguise. Oh, it also increases uh, your attack with bone weapons. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, I think a bunch of my sets are eight. I have that, the cold one, and the, oh, the bow is actually a little higher, because I have one upgraded. 
That is so cool. I still like that. That is so cool looking. That is my favorite outfit. I gotta buy it on my game. I don't think you need a torch anymore. I think you're here. Why are you smoking? <laughs> hey, yo. I got some seeds. Hey. It's your boy. Where's the seeds guy? Silent princess grows here. Link. You are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. I can't pick it up. The responsibility. It's too heavy. Who is that? Did I doze off again? Hey, it's... That's some, like... That's some early 90s CG looking animation. It's a tree. It's not supposed to look natural when it talks. He also doesn't sound old enough. Even my patience. Well, I mean, he's only like 600. He he's probably young for a tree. That look on your face tells me that you have no recollection of me. However, I have watched over Hyrule since time immemorial. Many have referred to me over the ages as the Deku Tree. That is the weapon created by the ancient goddess. The sword that seals the darkness that only... See, we have that lore now, because the Skyward Sword happened. The, calamity Ganon. the end point for all the timelines. It was actually you who wielded that sword 100 years ago. But I must warn you. To take extreme caution. The sword stands as a test to anyone who would dare attempt to possess it. As you are now, I cannot say whether you are worthy or not. If you sought to free the sword in any sort of weakened state, you would surely lose your life where you stand. <laughs> Why are you laughing at this prospect? You might die! <laughs> Use your true strength. Okay, so it's uh, not just... It's YOLO! Alright, yeah, do it. I thought he was going to, like, uh, it was gonna be like a hard check. Like, he's gonna say, oh, you don't have enough life to do this. No, it's even more cool, cool than that. But no, if you came without 13 hearts, you would just die. Yes! Actually, yeah, you would die. That's why I was saying. 13 hearts. All right, all right. So, uh, yeah. Um, I'm not... It's... It's not the... I, I don't know. I wouldn't call it the best weapon in the game, but it is certainly the most reliable. And then he says, your inventory is full, and he puts it back. Can't get rid of the Master Sword. Then you just... Oh, yeah, that's right. Shit. You have to get rid of the Forest Dweller Spear. Your master will come for you. Until then... You shall rest safely here. Although the slumber of restoration that thing got will fucked most certainly up. deprive him of his memories. Please be wearing a fancy dress day. for the forest. He will arrive before you yet again. If I may Gotta wear the forest dress. Wow, she got she she looks dirty. She looks like she's been she's been through some shit. Master Sword, 
the I war in heaven. It seems that my role is unfinished. There is still something I must do. I sense there is great strength in your dedication. Great Deku Tree, I ask of you. When he returns, can you please relay this message? Tell him I... Now then. I... Words intended for him would sound much better in the tone I what? Of voice. Don't you think? Could have just said no, Tree. Yes. Did you tell him I... No. Yes. Hello, future Dan. And then... It's fine. Rest here, Master Sword. Everything will be fine. You have the option of, like, letting go if you're running low on hearts and you're not gonna make it. Oh, yeah! I was gonna say, yeah. that'd be a pretty anticlimactic way for this to end. It says hold. If you let go, you can just you can just let go. And then... Zelda somehow gets free. Like uh, I don't know, like two years later, she goes to the forest and she just sees a skeleton slumped over the sword. I guess he wasn't truly worthy enough. This guy, this is a fucking Conan the Barbarian looking character, in, like a pose. I love this outfit so much. What you just saw happened where you stand one hundred years ago. After you were separated from the sword, the princess thought to bring Wow, this is a wordy cutscene. She knew that it would be safe under my watch. She continued Imagine to uh fight. Imagine she playing a Kojima game. Imagine playing Death Stranding. Of Hyrule Castle. Her heart cascades with He looks like he's straight out of Miss Spider's Sunny Patch Friends. She has a smile like the sun. Who, the, the, the tree? Yeah. Much to feel its warmth upon me. Have you ever seen that series? No, I haven't. There, I, I know it mostly because uh, Tony J played a character called Spiderus in it. And he looks just terrifying. The legendary sword that seals the darkness. His blade gleams with a sacred luster that can... Opposed to Calamity. Only a cho hero chosen by the sword itself may mm. it. So, it deals more damage to, uh... Oh, wow! That fucking character. Looks... Calamity Ganon, or those tainted by his malice. Ah, oh, shit. Give me a moment. If you wield it without need, its power will be exhausted, and it will no longer be of use to you. Okay, so it recharges like the like the four champions, I guess. Oh. I think I got an extra inventory space for that. That's nice. Have a torch. I'll give you one of your sticks back, tree. Are you the hero? Could it be? Welcome to Korok Forest! You're much cooler looking than I thought you'd be! Yeah, I got a barbarian thing going on. Will you accept my trial? Oh, okay. I could do that! Looks like you've located an ice rod! No, I got a blizzard rod. I got the- I got one up you. Is that a blizzard rod? Incredible oh, you're showing shimmer. Him? Unbelievable I, sparkle. Are you showing him like, uh... He asked for an ice rod and I was already carrying a superior version. I really hope that muted properly. Yeah, we didn't hear you. Okay, good. My family's the master of bad timing. Including me, I have bad timing too when calling other people. You're Mr. Hero. Mr. Hero is here. The mushroom on my head sprouted a day, so I knew something was up. That you should see uh you should see a mushroom picker about that. Your controls will get reversed. 
Among them is an extra tough one designed by me, the Elder. You're the Elder. Who's that that giant guy that we were meeting? Uh, oh, he's he's just a giant. His uh, his mother uh, was uh, was quite large. Okay, so there's multiple shrines. Yeah, here in the forest. Yep. The test of wood. I'm g since there's three of them, I'm gonna g guess that they each give an armor piece. Oh, that'd be. Oh, well, there you are. I must dance. Don't you remember me? I'm the mus. Oh, he's the musician. Yeah, he shakes his maracas. Uh. What do you wanna? I kind of, I only ever run out of weapon space. That's why I've yeah. only bought weapon slots. I need 17. Wow! <laughs> nope, I'm good. How much do you want for, like, the shield stash? I only need oh. one! Nope, not worth it. Thanks. Not worth it. Yeah, so... Uh, well, uh, I guess now I can more or less stop carrying melee weapons, because I have the Master uh, Sword. No, about that. Uh, Master Sword still has durability. It, it, it can, it'll regenerate after a while, but, um... How long is still, a while? Uh... Minutes. Eh. God, you fool! <laughs> Are you serious? Like, no. You're gonna you if you do if you don't do that, if you just decide, okay, I got the master sword, I don't need to carry all these other weapons, you are going to it's gonna break on you at the worst possible moment and you are going to die. It's Mr. Hero. <laughs> also it's only thirty. Yeah. You need to be extra careful, so I wanna see a bloopy. A, a blue rupee? No. A blue glowy hoppy thing that glows in the dark. Nope. Sorry. Yeah. I, just... I think... I assume that's one of those like little blue rabbits, which I've seen but haven't gotten to uh, get a picture of yet. Well, you just fucking do it and then you'll be on the quest line. Maybe he'll just be like... Maybe you. Maybe that quest will be forever... Wow, you're, you're very... <laughs> Very well, I thought cool. it was like, do you have it now? No, I don't have it now. Just... <sighs> You're so fr I'll, if you want me to go back and talk to him, you just have to ask. You don't have to get so sad. <laughs> You're a mean person in this game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're not the person. Sorry, never mind. No, I showed you my rod. Where's the... the... Oh, he's gone. No, he's back to... <laughs> All right. I don't know where they live, but I hear there are little blue glowing critters hopping around. Oh, I know, I know what they are. Um, they're around. Uh, I think at night they're around. Uh, the Kakariko uh, Fairy. Yeah. Where's your shrine at? There it is. I, just, I, I want a warp point. I don't want it to come back the long way. <laughs> God. I, did I ever tell you about, like, uh, about, like, one of the funniest, uh, like, dis, like, uh, sides in pro wrestling? So you get a long way? What? Uh, there was a, there was a, a sign, like, somebody held up in WCW, and it was about Goldberg, and it said, uh, and it had, like, pictures of, like, of, like, core, like, a whole like, uh, corn on the cob on it, and it said, uh, Goldberg eats corn the long way. Damn. <laughs> well, this looks annoying. It's like, it's like a, that's like a very, oh, wow, yeah. Uh, I don't remember doing this shrine. <laughs> uh, there appear to be four balls. Yeah, and like a bunch of holes. Uh. Yep. 
three, five to one. And then I'm guessing on the other side is also five to one. What, what did the sign say again? It said, Just look at the constellations. One, two, three, four, five. What, what are you counting? I, I'm counting the number of like, quote unquote, no, that's three uh, over there on the left. Uh, how about this? You, uh, you try to figure out what it is, and then once you give up, I will look up the answer. <laughs> I don't remember doing this one. <laughs> this looks like an off-stream shrine. Yeah. <laughs> okay, speaking of off-stream shrines, uh, what are some of the more interesting ones you've, uh, you've done? Uh, I don't remember any particularly to note. I did one where you had to, like, use the ice power to, to like, mess with a raft's trajectory. Oh, that sounds cool. Just, like, otherwise, yeah. Great content. Just, like... I don't love the shrines. I, I kind of, when I see the one that's, like, the, the such and such's blessing, we're like, you got in here, have a thing. I, 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 there's a sigh of relief. I like those ones. <laughs> Dude, there's one. The, 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 I think the shrine that I've had that I've I've still not beaten was a uh, one that was on like an island, and uh, and that one merely going onto the island. Oh hey, power rock leaf. So much foliage. Get a picture of this leaf. It's it's great. It'll look like it can look like a cryptid, like in the foliage. Uh, what was I gonna say? Um, you, you merely go on the island, it says, The trial's begun, asshole! And then it strips you of all your, like, weapons and armor. And the island is filled with, like, enemies. And you gotta, like, uh, find the shrine entrance. Is it this island? Did you do that one? Uh, no, I haven't been able to, like, get out there yet. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, you wanna, you, that's something you, you, could tr you could attempt on stream. Yeah. It saves to before you get onto the island. Well, it sounds like the perfect, uh, like, solid link challenge. It's procure, procure on site. Yeah. But you can't, I don't think you, but again, I don't think you can wear equipment. Mito Swamp. Of course he'd have a swamp named after him. Yeah, Mito. Lake Saria. Yep, Lake Saria, and then, uh... So, uh, are you going for the shrines, or are you just going to, uh, go to somewhere else? Can we go to Lake Saria, or is it, uh... It's in the Lost Woods. Darn. I think you gotta follow, like, uh... I think you gotta follow, um, the Koroks to, uh... To like uh, the shrines, because they say, "Hey, you want to do the a Hylian seeks to attempt the Korok trial? Is that even allowed? Who cares? Who cares? Okay. What's you really want to try it? I guess it was worth asking after all. Yeah. Okay. I've got a cryptic little hint for you. The hungry trees will show you the way, spy their iron to win the day. Didn't I make that sound cool? Trial of the Second Sight. Oh! Magnesis! It's not there to, like, actually move. I think it's just there to, like, to, like, uh, show you where you're going, maybe? Uh, just like enable it again, and then, uh, or are you still going to uh, try and move it? I see. Why, as opposed to what? As opposed to just seeing that, like that, like it says, spy your their iron, not move their iron. Oh. See, look, see that's one over there. Wait, nope. Uh, you, you just. No, I saw it. Okay. I was seeing if there were any others. closer ones. Out. 
that? Oh, fucking goat! <laughs> I gotta get my revenge on the goat. Goat. Is this what Magneto sees? All the time. It's why he's so. It's why he's a villain. He just Virtual can't stand boy it. vision. Oh no! A skeleton. Shit! You should have worn the uh, disguise. I don't think it's- I think it's too late. Brothers! I'm one of you! I'm a skeleton! It's pretty scary! I just go backwards. Back. No, I didn't. No, you're not. I think the reason why they're, like, still attracted to you even while wearing the skeleton suit is because they see you as a potential mate. more damage to bones, like, wearing that outfit? Or is it, like, bone no, weapons it's increased damage? bone weapons. Uh, bone tomahawk. Yeah, arm! Got the arm! Arm of champions! No, the last one ran away. <laughs> it was uh, disappointed that its brethren betrayed it. I think the only Bokoblin thing I still need is Guts. Well, that you're not going to get that from... Uh, Skeletons, yeah. Yeah, because... Oh, I don't need don't... that. Rusty Shield! Hey, is that the... Feed me the aged shield guarded by Monsters Eternal. Okay. <laughs> well, you don't need to pick it up. You can just use Magnesis to, like, to, like move it. Um, nom, nom. <laughs> just, <laughs> just throw a creep at it like a dude's face. Does that work? Oh, something's over there. Alright, what was in that one mouth and... Oh, it's a chest. Link using his mind powers as he walks backwards. Ooh! I need to, where are you going? I, was, I just wanted to look at the animation. It was very Orpheus looking. Yeah, that's true. Uh, that, that was worth getting lost in the in the Lost Woods for, looking at crazy Orpheus level. All right, so I'm guessing you can't like fall in the. I got a leaf. How did you know you were going to need that? Well, because it, it, I, at this point, am getting weapons. I'm keeping weapons that have, like, some utility. Okay, fair Like, enough. I'll always keep an ice rod and a fire rod. And a Korok leaf, I guess, because it's like, hey, I can oh, sail. There's a, there's a spare one. <laughs> can you use boat paddles as boat paddles? I've never tried. Uh, I, not that I was able to. Please place my chest in my mouth. Oh, my God. The shield eater's brother stole it from me. <laughs> We're doing a fetch quest for a tree. <laughs> what a dick move! <laughs> this is like Taskmaster. <laughs> so you haven't done this before? I haven't, no. I, uh, I saw more shrines and I was just like, not today. I think I did the wrong one. I don't know if blowing lowers their, uh... Probably. Their ability. You can always check, because, like, if you get them... Yeah. And then, and then, uh, and, and they're, like, in pristine condition, then, yeah, uh... Does. Then, yeah. Da -da -da. Well, you need to get back over. Well, I guess you don't... Okay. Wait, this chest is empty. You fool! Is that... Is that the shrine? Yeah, it is! You did it! You unlocked it, good job. 
Lake Saria is kind of unimpressive. It's, a uh, yeah, it is, like, not a worthy, um... Now, can you swim in it? Probably not. You probably can, actually. You Skeletons probably can. can swim in anything. Wait, is that one str- No, it's still one. Have you gotten used to the controls at all? I mean, somewhat. I would still prefer them to just be Zelda controls. Yeah. That's because you're still thinking of this game as a Zelda game, and you and you really haven't learned your lesson about that yet. I don't know why I was, like, talking on to you about, like, fucking Lost Woods direction shit. I have- you know me, I have a famously poor sense of direction. Hey, it just gives you the shit! What is it giving you? You get... Giant Ancient Core. Uh... Which will either sell well, or will probably be useful for, like, the final stage of the Ancient Gear or something. Yeah, probably that. Did you get the Ancient Gear yet? I didn't see it. I got so. one. Oh, it's one They're expensive. It? it takes a lot of grinding. I get... bet that... Now, how, how are you grinding? You, you were just selling parts again, or did you go bowling? No, gr grinding for, like, uh, like machine parts. Oh, yeah. Because you gotta fight like them, and th those guys are, like, difficult. Each one uh, takes, like, 20 of the gears, I think. Ah. Uh. But you can look like, but you can look like a, like a, like a ancient, like a steampunk, like Night Link. So that that'd be pretty cool, as opposed to uh, either uh, Raver Link, which you are right now, or uh, or like Link the Barbarian. Actually, uh, shit, because because uh, the Vo outfit Link kind of looks like a different version of Link the Barbarian. But then you got literal Barbarian Link. With the fucking berserker armor. The Vol one looks like sexier. It's like Conan Barbarian versus He-Man Barbarian. I got it. Uh, the uh, the uh, Vol outfit link is Fabio Link. Okay. Yeah, never. You never did this shrine. I didn't. No, you did. Go back. Oh, yeah, I guess I should do that. Yeah, you should. Where did you go? I can't find Keel anywhere. It's with a key. <laughs> Maybe she went to Warbler's Nest to practice her singing. That's so far away. We can see it. It's not that far. Oh, it's like your, your very small daughter, I guess. Alright. Find Keel! Key and Peel did the fusion dance. <laughs> I kind of want to oh. watch. I've never seen Keel. What? Oh, you... What do you mean, what? I'm in the middle of this now, though. <laughs> the quest can wait. You can always... I like how... Oh, I mean... Oh, good. I can oh. reset it before it's done. Yeah. Combat drop. Okay, did you get it? You did. Thank hey, you for found me. this Korok turd. <laughs> it's it a has seed. a distinct it's smell. A seed. It's a seed. You know what? It's not. It's not a. It's not a turd. It's. It's. It's a little smelly seed. Play cyberpunk music. Do you climb any slower off stream? No. Why would okay. I? <laughs> it's inefficient to your stamina needs. I don't. I don't do the jump unless I know I can afford it. But if you're like climbing like Mount Everest, you don't jump. You just slowly climb. Climb well. Yeah. Like, no. Rumbling. If I can afford it, literally, why would I not? <laughs> no, it's not well, relaxing. Shut up. <laughs> Have you ever tried climbing in the rain? Yes. Okay. That's why I How's said this game desperately needs the sun song. 
or sorry, the song of storms. <laughs> I don't know why I'm even getting this. It's not useful for anything anymore. You sell it, right? For like cash? Like yeah, two a piece, I think. No, it's twenty. It's ten rupees per uh, per kill. Also, you can use like a different colored choo choo jelly as like uh, as like objects to kill things with. You set like fire choo choo jelly down, and you shoot it with an arrow, and then it explodes. <laughs> That's how a boomerang works. <laughs> boomerang. <laughs> it is it is kind of a silly way to like hunt, but it, it effective. You just see like a like an animal. You throw a boomerang at it, it just hits it in the head, and it just goes down. What? Hello, little hey. bird girl. My sisters Grr. are dumb dummies! Oh, yeah. That's a good way to start. We have to perform our song for the elder at Warbler's Nest. We're gonna be this laughed is... off the stage. <laughs> you look, you look I can like use you. Can you go you tell like my sisters in Rito Village to stop ditching rehearsal? They won't listen to me, but they might listen to a scary-looking bouncer like you. <laughs> you, you either look, you know what, uh, you look <laughs> like, with the thing, you know what, hold on. With the, with the skeleton stuff not lit, you either look like, like a gimp, or... Or, or, like, some kind of, like, BDSM gimp, or you look like a luchador. I was thinking, uh, that dude in Wakfu who collects demons. Yeah, yeah. No, no, because, because, look at that, that mask. It's, it's the mask. Yeah. You look like... <laughs> it's L, it's L Link. Well, this is a shrine quest, so I guess I should do it. Yeah. I mean, you're here. You might as well. The steed takes the lead. Obedient horses will follow pathways without being told to. Otacon's still just chilling in Kakariko. Hasn't moved. What, oh, what's he doing? He's just... Still outside Impa's house. Alright, what about that shrine? Are you gonna do I'll, it? I'll get, I'll get to it. <laughs> I don't want to forget. She said something about, like, a, a kitchen or something. Maybe they, you know what? You can, you can like, uh, set the shrine quest and then I guess it'll, like, light it up. I think. Hello? Whoops! Uh-oh! <laughs> I meant to do that. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, hey. You getting art? Okay. I, I, I don't know. I think the max is 20. I don't really feel the need for more stamina. I think you're at max. No. Uh, I've gotten... I start with one bar, and five stamina vessels is another bar, so I've gotten five of them. Okay. Dude. Imagine getting so much stamina, you can just outrun anything how much uh how much stamina do you think it took it would take to uh to climb Corin tower like uh 500 wheels that's how much uh that's how much uh fucking uh, goku has no nope, not the fire you bird sing for me hurry hurry i need seven Menua. I this, guess I guess there's French in this world. I this, uh, maybe she's mispronouncing it. It's salmon manure. I don't want to practice singing, but I really do want some salmon manure, or whatever it said. <laughs> Slippery fat. I fuck this. Y'all figure <laughs> shit out yourself. I got yeah. shit to do. I like how you're, you got, you're like, okay, chill, I'm gonna do this, and you go into, like, the first one, you're like, no, nah, fuck this, this is too much trouble. I didn't think it would be a, I didn't think it would be an anchor quest. We like an anchor! 
Johnny, how are we supposed to get a fucking anchor? Are you insane? Alright, what is this and why didn't I do it immediately? <laughs> nope. Oh, this one. <laughs> well, the important thing is that you reminded me of it, so now I can do it off stream. <laughs> I'm passing out, man. I'm, I'm, all the blood's going to my head. Oh, All right, uh, but, but, let, let's go visit the Zoras. I've been waiting on them, because I found this, uh, the tower. You're gonna, vi you're gonna visit the Zoras, Zoras looking like that? They're gonna think you're either insane or a pervert. <laughs> I'm in a rare mood today. I'm, I, I, you know what, I fucking hate December. So, yeah, yeah I, guess it, I guess it makes sense why I'm meaner this month. I'm gonna be meaner this month. I found this tower, like, this was like the second or third tower I found after the first stream we did of this, and I've just been waiting on, like, like this Zora. This Zora has wanted me to help his prince for, like, months. Oh, yeah, we, we missed that part, uh, so he's just like, I was picturing him, and just like, hey, can you help me? Can you swim? I actually encountered him, and I also put him off in my game. Oh, you, sir, you look different. Oh. The fuck? I am Groove of the Zora. You go to you go to uh you go wrestle in uh, in in the Gerudo country. How very astute of you! An excellent query indeed. By order of Prince Sidon of Zora's domain, I am searching for a Hylian. Just a Hylian. Anyone will do. Like they're hard to find. I mean, yeah. Okay, so it's always raining. I don't think the Song of Storms would be useful here. Prince Sidon is down at the bridge below, but for some reason, I cannot seem to catch his attention. But you! My luck is improving! Yeah. I found one! Yeah, see, he doesn't fucking hear me. Maybe I should jump. Or climb down. Mr. Hylian, I must apologize. It will be some time before I can get back to Prince Sidon. You want me to, like, let him know you're up here, maybe? No, no, I can... no. I, I've got this. I'll figure something out. Eventually. Can... You climb on me. I can glide down. No, no, no. 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 I'm a self-sufficient, independent Zora. Sounds good to me. Dude, if you hit the water from, like, really high up, will it kill you? That's not water. <laughs> it's not quite a that's not mud moment, but <laughs> yeah, climbing in the rain is bullshit. <laughs> Every time it's raining and I want to go climbing, I'm like, ah, son of a bitch. And you just have to sit and wait for it to end. But here it doesn't. It wow, that pig can take a hit. All right, he deserves to live. You deserve it. Oh, I thought I thought you were. Here I coats. I did it. Yeah, you gotten really good at that. Oh no, I need you. Ah! Oh, I ran it under a rock and hid. Oh, that's not a bug, that's a piece of wood. Sweet. Alright. Imagine a Venture Brothers fighting no game. Say uh, young one. A My Little Pony I'll fighting game made more you. sense. Hello. Oh, I did. Oh, I guess you didn't skip this part. No, I haven't. I've completely avoided this area. Pardon the entrance, but you are hiding. Shark teeth. Oh, pardon me. Wow, you're tall, Mister. Why is all the, the all the species like just big, dude, like people? Or is it just linked to small? I guess Hylians are Hylians are the dwarves now. 
Your name is Link? What a fantastic name! I heard he's big for a species. Cannot shake the feeling that I've heard it somewhere before. I don't know, Groove seemed pretty tall, too. It is a strong name! To be honest, I've been watching you. Really? For, like, the months that I've been avoiding you? Link, you must be a strong warrior among the Hylians. No, I'm a- I'm a gimp. I'm a gimp. I'm a- No, 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 don't be so humble. I can tell just by looking at you. Yeah, you're you're one of those famous luchadors. <laughs> the mouth is uncovered. The joke doesn't work. Oh, is it? I can't tell <laughs> yeah. from this angle. Fucking luchador link. <laughs> Sora's domain is in grave danger because of the massive rainfall coming from divine beast Varuta. Why is water always the the greatest threat that Zora's face? Well, I mean, it's like, it, nobody wants to come trade with us because, like, it's all raining and shit, and, you know, we could use some sun. The vitamin, D de the vitamin B deficiency is gonna fuck with us. You are indeed the man I thought you were. Now Zora's domain will be saved for certain. Because of the it's rain, the cliffs are too wet to climb. To reach the domain, you'll need to go straight along this path. Okay. You may have a tough fight in store. Yeah, I, I, I fought one of those tough-ass pigs already. <laughs> the pigs. <laughs> you died to a pig. <laughs> oh, is this I, where, like, we, we're supposed to start running into electric enemies? Is he gonna give you the Franklin badge? Oh, Electro Elixir. It's a drink that'll increase your resistance to electricity. I also need... Uh, one of the... One of the the fairy recipes calls for the shards of, like, Ferosh or Feroth or whatever. So I gotta figure so, out how to beat that giant snake thing. Uh, I haven't yet, so good luck. I did, uh, I did beat the Mulduga, the thing, the, going around in the desert. Oh, yeah? What did it, what was it, what were its drops? Uh, Mulduga stuff. Mulduga guts. Oh, yeah, that's useful for, uh, improving... That's something you don't want to sell immediately. I think I need Mulduga Guts for the uh, the next stage of the Radiant Gear. Which one's the Radiant Gear? That's, Skeleton. Uh, oh, yeah. Ra the Radiant... That Radiant! No, it's too Radiant. creepy. Radiant. Okay, so Gerudo had the stuff that required... I guess Gerudo and uh, Goron will both require heat resistance. Yeah, Gerudo is like mildly so, but uh, wow, you missed. Um, All right, coach. Under that rock. <laughs> what? I was just seeing if there was something under the rock. I guess not. <laughs> hey, wow, that's a lot of air. That's how your arrow. What's your arrow count at? Uh, I, I finally am, have a comfortable number of arrows. I still am not using them, but... <laughs> wow! You, you've been stocking up, huh? Also, just to explain, because I know no one is going to get the joke, Harai Coats is the name of the giant boomerang in Inuyasha. Yeah, it's got many variants. Uh, there's, a, there's a black one in Yashahime. It's, it's like yeah. Blessed or something. Yeah, then there was a, uh, there was the modified poisonous one in Final Act. Is this rock Ooh. defense? Oh! Yeah. No, he, he's... Nope, it's not. It's fine, you, you got, you got Radiant gear. You got Luchador gear! If I knew Spanish, I would say some right now, but I... Oh, I got it. got knocked off course, but you still got it. You you managed to take out a fish. In the <laughs> no, wow. it uh, they they just dropped fish. It's you know what play like play this game like this like like this is like watching you play the game like this is pretty neat because every time it's just it's like a vignette of like the life of a uh, of Link. <laughs> It's like, it is like Samurai Jack. I 
Get, leave me alone! These are the most annoying Octoroks in, uh, in like, the Zelda history, I they feel. They are. They're incredibly persistent. Yeah, and there are those ones that, like, are able to, like, exist on land. Ow. Have you encountered those yet? Uh, I think so. There's also the treasure Octoroks. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Treasure Oh, yeah, the ones that are, that are like, mimics? Yeah. Oh, by the way, um, you know how in, like, uh, like if there's a staple in Zelda games, you could just cut, like, uh, you could destroy pots and, like, and, like cut grass? Yeah. And, uh, and, like, stuff would be there? And not how in this game there isn't? Like, this is that isn't a feature? Fucking shit, you're really good at with the boomerang! You're better than I am! Uh, anyway, uh, do you want to hear some lore? From, like, about uh, from, like, pots? the game? Uh, about about uh, about like items showing up. You ever play uh, the minish minish cap? Uh, no. You never. So the, there's a race of like tiny creatures in Zelda canon called the minish. Right, I'm and aware they of them. That, and they say, and they, it said that like, hey, uh, the reason why you see all those uh, all those like uh, stuff there, we put them there for like for like travelers to find because it's like a nice surprise. And then it that's not happening in this game, which is like, are are the minish all dead? They get, they get the darkest timeline. The darkest timeline. It's like it's like when they when they uh, when they were killing the god in Mononoke, and then all the fucking uh, Koda Kodama started to fall from the from the trees. You know the reason I started using boomerangs is because it saved me arrows. Well, I mean, you got a hundred and fifty, like forty-nine. So, I mean, <laughs> I've never heard of a miser archer before. <laughs> okay, arrows have never been this scarce in a Zelda game before. <laughs> yeah, because the because the mini all died, and so they can't give you you can't supply you with arrows when you need when they know you need them. It's a shame. Oh, I need these the silent shrooms. The fuck. Hey! Sorry for calling out to you from the river. Since I pressured you into coming, I was not sure you would really come through. I am pleased things are going well. Ever since this strange occurrence, there have been lots of monsters around here. Be careful! Yeah, I, you told me that. Be careful. <laughs> BDSM link. <laughs> I, you know what, I'm gonna call him Luchador. Well, actually... If it wasn't, know, like, solid black. I... The thing is, is that I've seen, like, uh... Like, wrestlers wear similar, like, bodysuits with masks. But they always are, like... Have, like, colors on them. Like, the closest one I can think of to that kind of skeleton motif... Is, uh... Is, uh, Pentagon El Cerro Romero. Yeah. Uh, and, uh... And he... Has like he's like a guy obviously looks like a like a spooky skeleton with like his outfit, and and he also paints like his exposed face like white to match like the outfit, and uh, and so that's Ew. what I'm like kind of. Yeah, you better run! <laughs> wow, <laughs> you whacked him with a boomerang and he shrugged. Oh wow. Watch out for rocks. Oh, that's why the rain's so bad. It's causing mudslides. I've gone all over, like, Hyrule, and now these, these enemies are kind of a joke. Yeah, that's the improvement. It's like, at first you were just, like, naked. You had only your boxers, and you were traveling along. And now, look at you. You look like somebody nobody really wants to fuck with. Uh... Fire. Hey, just... Oh, what's in there? Slow burning, uh... Slow burning vines. Slow acting poison. <laughs> Neat. Yeah, more cash is good. What do I need a... for at this point? Not a lot. Well, you need, well, uh, it's always good to have if you ever 
need like to grab some extra supplies from somewhere. That was that was a that was a fucking shot. You you got good with snap aiming those. Oh, there's more. Hello. Uh oh, they're firing. Wow, they're firing it. They're firing dokens at you. Uh, what is my best defensive is the the bow. Oh, shock damage resist. Great. There you go. Not resist enough. Decently. One down. <laughs> this. I love this game. Just this is, this is something Dark Souls, Souls I think would pull on you as well. Or at least, you know what? Elden Ring! Elden Ring had, had something similar to this, where it was just like, you go in and suddenly it's a fucking ambush. Where'd it go? There it is. Where'd what go? A boomerang. Oh, you threw it, Oh, you threw the boomerang. I, I didn't, I didn't, I legitimately didn't, uh... There's one more alive, but he stopped firing. I think he's afraid. <laughs> Why is that delivery on that so funny? <laughs> I think he's afraid. That's like, uh, I... There's a scene in Starship Troopers where they capture, like, a, a boss, like, bug. Oh, there's two. And, uh, and, like, the, psych the, the psychic, dressed in full-on, like, fascist gear, put his hand on it, and he's like, goes, It's afraid! It's afraid, and all the soldiers start like fucking cheering and like shooting you in the air and shit. Fucking that movie! That movie is is wild. Once you realize, wait a minute, this is what they're talking about. I feel like we should show that movie to the guys and see how quickly they get it. Have you seen that movie? Nope. Oh yeah, cool. Yeah, no, I, I'm down for that. Just like don't explain like, hey, you guys ever watch Starship Troopers? No. Well, uh, here we go. <laughs> here it is. And I, I think I think to give him a hint, we'd say the guy who wrote this also wrote Robo, or the guy who directed this also directed RoboCop. Or maybe that would be giving the game away. Yes. You know, I found out recently. You remember how there was a terrible straight-to-video sequel to Hunchback? Yes, Hunchback 2. Let's get let's get to Quasimodo an actual girlfriend. Well, it turns out there's a sequel to The Phantom of the Opera. Uh, is it called Love Never Dies? Yes, it is. That's you've all heard, I know about the sequel to Phantom of, of the Opera. I don't know anything else about that. I just saw that and I'm like and I'm like, I should probably tell uh, tell you this. I just never remembered in, during any of our stuff because I just was like, huh. Well, uh, Darian found out about it. Yeah? Was it? Did he watch it? Uh, I think he, he did like art of, of the Phantom's costume in that version. Oh, but Wait, uh, he did, was a different costume and... In, in, uh, I think in the love... costume design is a little different somehow. Oh. Like he's got a trench coat or something. Is <laughs> he's in his he's in his depressive emo phase? The opera, the Phantom. But uh, according to Darian, it uh, it's got good musicals. It just kind of undermines everything about the first one. Oh, undermines it, huh? What's uh, what is uh, the the move the the sequel about? What what is the plot of? Oh. Uh, you want me to look it up? I can look sure, it up. Sure, go for it. Okay. <laughs> you fuckers aren't supposed to fly in rain. Bees aren't supposed to fly at all. You think they give a fuck about the rain? Uh. Let's see. Uh. Whoa. Never. Dies. Uh, I'm gonna go with the TV tropes because I think they. Andrew Lloyd Webber, Love Never Dies, The Phantom. Sequel to Andrew Lloyd Webber's sensationally popular Phantom of the Opera. It takes place on Coney Island ten years after the end of Phantom. Coney Island? Wait. In America? 
I guess so. <laughs> Madame Geary and her daughter Meg helped the Phantom to escape to America after the events of the first show, and from there made it possible for him to open up a lavish amusement park on Cody Island. Of course. Then, without telling either of the Gearys, he lures Christine, now married to Raul, to come sing at his park. Craziness ensues! Music was done by Andrew Lynn Weber, while the book was written by him, as well as Ben Elton and Glenn Slater. I'm sorry, what craziness ensues? The, the, he turned it into, like, a Takahashi rom-com? Um, unknown! <laughs> I, I, that's just a general overview. I can go to Wikipedia for, like, more detailed information. What, what's he talking about? He's like, sorry, uh, I'm... A, a little further now! <laughs> Thanks, Sidon. Right. <laughs> Okay, uh, <laughs> okay, the, the, the detailed, is there a detailed, uh, synopsis of, okay, wait, original London version of 2011 Australian version, <laughs> what's the difference? Okay, oh wow, they're really Yeah, detailed. so this was 2010, this was like, uh, 25 yeah. years after the original musical? At 25 years, they're like, yeah, fuck it, let's do a sequel. Um, okay, it's way too detailed, I can't get... No, the boomerang! Okay, so I can't be holding anything metal. Is the well, boomerang you, metal? Don't you, have a, don't you have a wooden club made out of bone and shit? I do. I didn't... Like, maybe it was my shield. Because I didn't think the boomerang was metal. I, it's a giant boomerang. I'm sure it's metal. You seem to be attracted to it. Oh, also, you're, you have that equipped. If you throw it, it's going to break. Just letting you know. What, the bone thing? Yeah. Well, it's fine. You're just you're taking out the electric keys. Yeah, electric we're in keys? the rain. Oh shit. Um. Yeah. Speaking of uh, in the rain, uh, there's a, there's a thunderstorm. Do I still have anything metal? Oh, still the bow. The bow. Yeah. Duplex bow. Uh. Yeah. There you go. Okay. So. To him. But, okay. Okay, so so you you wanted to hear something funny about this? Uh, so uh, this is supposed to be ten years after uh, after the original Phantom of the Opera. Yeah. Um, the the bulk of the Phantom takes place in 1881. Uh, Love Never Dies is set during 1907. Okay, so a little bit of a discrepancy. Yeah. Uh, I'm getting all this through like trope things because the bit, the long fucking, I, I, my eyes, I looked at that, my eyes were glazing over. I'm gonna have to watch a video on it to, to have it more palpable. So I'm gonna look at it up later, or like try to find a video on it so we can both like. Apparently, the gist of what I'm getting is that the reason why this uh, thing, this uh, play is divisive is because they really just, like, uh, were all in on Team Phantom. Yeah. I mean, he was a significantly more popular character than Raul. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Raul's in this, uh, too, as well as Christine. And, uh... Yeah, it's basically like like uh, like somebody writing like a like fan fiction about you know. 
Oh, that didn't do it. Where's the boomerang? I don't know. It didn't break. I hope not. So we're gonna use any a demon carver. Is that oh, a that's slow. Too? Eh. He them. swings it overhead like a hammer. It's heavy. Maybe it was the because it was a running attack. Hey, more food. Are we almost there? Blue nightshade. All these rocks with nothing under them. There's a frog. I gotta pick uh, up every rock now, because a Korok might be under one. Almost halfway. <laughs> this guy, man! <laughs> it links just like what the fuck? Come on! I love the idea that he's wearing the gib suit and then he takes it off and he just looks like he's got this underneath. <laughs> it's like it's like whatever James Bond's needing to sneak somewhere. He's like wearing a wetsuit and he takes it off and there's a fucking tuxedo underneath. Still uh, slowly making my way through uh, Naruto Shippuden. Oh yeah, I've is it, is it... the pacing is very inconsistent. Yeah, like it. I complained last time about the the pacing of like the start of it. Then it got better, and then it got really bad again. Like I, I'm not surprised. It, like it's a mid. It's a two thousands like. I just it's expected fun. it to be be consistently bad. I'm glad it's not always bad, but. I wish it was always good. Roasted acorn, slightly uh, more filling than a regular. Hey, you can uh oh baked you apples. Can cook, you can cook some stuff. I could take take a little time, but I also yeah. got plenty of food. I don't worry about it right now. Cold resistance. Why you're gonna need that? It's raining really hard. Uh, I think that I think that he realized. The thing we complain about Sakura is that, like the female characters are really underutilized in Naruto. Yeah, and, and he de fixed that by giving Sakura more to do. Like, yes, she's like Tsunade jun Junior, but like the the first arc of Shippuden opens with her having like her her like carrying everything and having one of the most badass fights in the show. Oh, that's cool. So that's nice. Unfortunately, she... the immediate next arc, she's back to like not doing anything and crying about Naruto. <laughs> is she is she is she treating him well actually I I'll I'll take that back because she like a lot of people really were just like pissed off at her because like oh she treats Naruto really badly uh, but in the sh actual show she's not she wasn't too bad to him. She found him annoying and she didn't want to date him but like she wasn't cruel to him. She was mean for like the first five episodes, and then it just then it kind of passed. Yeah, but people really the the fan fictions as you describe them seem to really get fixated on the dynamics in those first couple episodes. Oh, you've been reading them too? No, it's just you always okay. talk <laughs> about them, and they always sound like they never move past that point. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's very strange. It not okay. It's not strange. It's 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 very consistent. Is that gonna work? Probably not. Well, we'll find out. Let's get... Hooray, Coats! I mean, it kind of did. What I got a kind of sequel to Cliff Mountain, in terms of, like, dumb, unrealistic anime lo locations. Oh, yeah? W w what is it? Uh, I call it Log Canyon. <laughs> Wait! Wait! How, how does that work? There's, like... 10 to 12 episodes of Shippuden where the characters are just like running full full speed through a canyon that just is conveniently full of horizontal logs. <laughs> I don't know why it exists or why it looks that way, but boy, they spend a lot of time there. <laughs> Not here. There's 
Oh, you, okay. I thought you you were dead. Not here. There's too many people. Somewhere where there's nobody. And it's just logging. <laughs> Kakarot. What the fuck is this place? I don't know. We just, can just, jump you know, around lots. K Kakarot. You, what, is, is there some... Is it? Did you? Did, was there a massacre of a bunch of like fucking, like tree, like loggers or something? It looks man-made, but why the fuck would anyone make that? Is it? Was it a training ground? For like, like, uh, like miles? <laughs> yeah, you really gotta train your ballots. So it's like, if you can do this, you can do this for miles. It was in like, and, it was in like fuck all no man's land too. It was where the Akatsuki were hiding out. Oh uh, yeah, that's their training ground. <laughs> Yeah, we just jump on logs all day. It's really good ninja training. <laughs> it's good. It's exercise. What the fuck is that? Examine. Examine. History of the... Z nope. I'm done. Bored. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Aw. That's okay. I have my small boomerang. No, her right coat is broken. Now, now the demons get inside is gonna be really pissed off. It was made from uh -oh! a demon bone. Is there a demon inside of it? Hey, you have the Zalfos boomerang. You throw that at him. Oh, okay. Friendly fire. Two hundred twenty-two arrows. Holy fuck. Remember when you needed like a uh, yeah more boomerangs? Forked one is is objectively stronger, but yeah, boomer. Uh, I was also gonna say, so how much do you know about like Naruto? I assume a lot from Osmosis. Uh, a lot from Osmosis. Uh, I know like who his parents are. It's obvious as fuck. Um, I know. Uh, I know, like, uh, Itachi was actually secretly a good guy all along. Figure that uh, out. That's Akatsuki's plan. I know that fucking, the fucking moon, colony moon drop, like, technique. And he did a second one. Do you know uh, about Sai? Uh, yes. He was a, a dude who uh, was replacing Sas Sasuke. And then it was revealed he was secretly working for fucking, like, the, uh, the, the fuck, the fucking, like, Konoha CIA. Uh, they, well, no, that's not a secret. Everyone knows about that. He's like secretly. <laughs> oh yeah, you're working for for the CIA, right? Yeah, that's correct. What what what's oh, secret I... is that he's working for like a right wing extremist ninja group. Oh yeah, that that is that is root. Yeah, that's that's what root's a right wing extreme. That's a, that's a secret. Anyway, so you know about Sasuke at home then. You know what? I, from what I heard, he's like he's like way more chill than like Sasuke. In like those early like episodes. I uh, know you heard wrong. <laughs> oh really? He's, is he worse? He's way worse. He's the, it's like what they the set out to make the least likable character conceivable in like his introduction. Oh, you... Which is weird because like fucking they don't treat Psy like like I don't see I didn't see fan fictions about Psy being any worse than like Sasuke. I think he gets better. Like he he does get significantly better. He does, but he it, does they get went better. so far out of their way to make him as hateable as possible immediately. Like his first couple lines are are saying Naruto has a small dick and calling Sakura ugly. <laughs> wait, wait, wait he, I am not he, joking. He called he called he called Naruto a limp dick. <laughs> what? You got a small dick. He said uh, the size he said of he the has, small dick. Say a small dick and no balls. How how would you know, Sai? Also, he uh, the, the way he dresses like a fuck boy. <laughs> yeah, I know about that. I it's it's so out of, of place for the Naruto franchise. It just it looks strange as all. More out of place than the than the fucking mum, like uh, like painted mumble rappers that show up later. Maybe not. I haven't gotten to them yet. Let's well, in Boruto. Yeah. So. <laughs> it's, it's funny how you say they all look the same considering what i know about like how uh how like about why they look like that are, are you ready for some deep lore do you care at all about oh you gotta fight that guy Ig ignored 
Ignored. Can't ignore it forever. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. You're fine. You're 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 wearing. I like if a guy wearing plate armor. You're wearing that, and somehow you take more hits than the other guy wearing. Oh. This is why I have multiples. You know, maybe you should try fighting him normally. Okay, never mind. Moblin guts, not necessarily book bokoblin guts. Oh, I need moblin guts too for something, I think. <laughs> Alright, well good. You killed one, so. Uh shit. Oh yeah, do you care about spoilers from Boruto at all? Nah. First off, okay, so first off, Sai ends up getting with uh, Eno. I kind of figured that, which is like the the Wait. kind of the lamest, most obvious ship ever. Oh, was I can't that, have that... Sasuke. Ah, good enough. Wait, I'll take the next I best got... thing. Wish.com Sasuke. Uh, their kid ends up taking her her uh, her last name, so I guess he took her last name. Or he, I guess like, he didn't have a last name. Is this Sai, right? Yeah. Hello, I am Sai. Which is itself a code name because he has no name. Well, that's why you don't have a job. <laughs> Every time I hear like a guy dramatically say I have no name, I automatically just uh, just like think of uh, that line from uh, from Oh Brother Where Art Thou. Well, that's why you probably don't have a job. See. Uh. Okay. What else was I gonna say? Oh, so uh, so the reason why uh, so. As you, so the main, you know who the main villain of uh, of Naruto is, right? Uh, the the like, real main villain. It's like Pain, and then it's like Madara or something. I I know and it then, switches like three times, and then and it's then, like the then, ninja then, goddess or something, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, she's part of like an alien species. I see. And and, and the reason why I don't like uh, the the tail beasts and the fucking like do like the I bloodlines exist is because of like uh they planted like uh, fruit and the fruit like grew into trees and people ate the fruit and they got bad, they got ninja powers now why is and it then... always aliens in shonen the... anime no, I, no, forgot no, jo I forgot I, the, I... the jojo arrows were, were from space well those weren't aliens they were just meteors it's yeah. different so i haven't gotten to the best part so so they defeated uh the rabbit in a, in a unique way i don't remember which one you have to tell me how they defeat her because because if they if they did it like another way, then then they would have had more problems because apparently if you kill members of her species, they they you don't actually kill them. They just get them into into you, and then they rewrite your DNA until until you you become them, and then they take over your body, and that's how they live forever. It's, okay. <laughs> and, and, and and that's why they all look like mumble rappers because they're take because they. They, that's just how the species, the alien species, looks. It's an alien species of people that look like they're at, they're at an ICP concert. It's <laughs> Naruto lore is. I I don't like the like watching the show because as you mentioned, it, it's paced like shit. But its lore is 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 up my alley in terms of like convolutedness. He's clearly making it up as he goes. Same as like Taikubo does. Yeah, or, uh, or I guess, it's like, okay, we're almost done with the Yashihime. Do you think that they were making it up as they went? Yeah. It, it makes for some very interesting stories, I have to say. Like, not necessarily good. Fuck no, but, like, but, like, as far as, like, being... Yashihime is a show that we've had, like, fun tearing apart. Yeah. I also... You broke it, your spear on him, and you didn't even kill him. Oh, nope. He's not done yet. Yeah. That's why I said, you're, he's not dead. You just threw it at him, and you didn't even, like, fucking kill him. You got arrows. Use them. Or, okay. Alright, what was I saying? Uh... Fuck, what was I saying? Yashihime. Uh, so... I, I, I was, like, going crazy last, like, on the third to, like, was it third to last? Yeah, it was third to last episode. And I was, like, saying, I, I know it's shit, I know it sucks, but this is probably, like, one of my favorite anime I've ever watched because it just, it just was so crazy. 
it's just I've I like it. I like it when you just every time you blow something up with the bomb, it just ends up cooked for some reason. Well, I'm doing it to the metal crates because you can't like smash those open. I know, I know. It's just it's weird because I, I I wonder if you can flash cook like bass with like a bomb if that's like a tech. Yashihime, if those for anyone who hasn't been keeping up, is the uh, Boruto equivalent of Inuyasha. I I I I would say it's probably more watchable than uh, Boruto. Oh yeah, probably. Yeah, I, it's a little frustrating because like there's definitely potential, and I can see a lot of thematic stuff that they were trying to do. It just it needed more time in the oven for them to figure out what they were doing before they started. Oh yeah. But at the same time, it, it, I'm sure, I think if it was more competent, it'd be more boring. I, it's I also, like, the show that has had the most, like, on-the-spot MacGuffins being introduced to oh, us than like, Seiko like, no Quasar. Yeah, I think I think it, it bypasses Seiko no Quasar in that regard. Like, what uh, what were some of the... Uh, I don't the more... fucking know. There was the mirror sword that showed up randomly last episode. There oh, yeah. Was a, a lot of swords the, in that show. The, the flute that transformed into a sword, and then the and then the, the grim comet coming down, and then they got to summon the uh, the fruit of the uh, of the whatever to uh, to to awaken the the grim pupa to form the grim butterfly. And, then, and they just and then, keep dropping names of shit like we're supposed to know what they're talking about. It's not getting into like the best character be actually shit shining in like the final like three episodes, final five episodes. Fucking uh, what's his? Uh, Kirin. Kirin Osamu. <laughs> it's just Crispin Freeman just being insane, and it's great. And then. Uh, and then, and then they did the de and then they did a genocide on the demons with the with the with the butterfly. They were just eating him. He's like, I'm gonna kill all the demons, and then I'll also kill the humans. Uh, my motivation is probably a bit unclear because I am crazy. That's like the 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 really running theme of Yashahime is that none of the villains seem to know what they're doing none or of the why villains, they're doing it. Like I, the one who had. Who had it the most together was Zero, and she didn't really have it like together a whole lot. Zero was. <laughs> we get to a point where like we're like the first uh, season, like uh, Kirin Maru was like was like, wait, why is this guy? Is this guy even a villain? The worst thing he did was kill like uh, Setsuna before she came back to life, and even then he's like, oh fuck, I didn't mean to do that, and then is like. It was a really shallow blow. I was amazed she died from it. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Compared to that, Riku died hard. He, he, and, and, oh, spoilers! Of... Everyone dies. Expect everyone on the show to die. Yeah, well, it's fine. It's fine. They got they got the magical resurrection sword. The hot footed frog. Oh, it was a hot spring. Uh, can I think. you heal in hot spring? Is it? Maybe it's just uh... like smoky water. It's 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 a it's a tepid lukewarm spring. It's not gonna heal you. Hot springs heal you, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I figured. I remember that. Um, they're more common, I think, in the in the volcano area. History of the Zora Part Two. <laughs> I'll go through. So if the, if you want to like pause and read, you can. Oh, they no, they're doing this thing where it's not even the full history. It's part seven. <laughs> Part one, part seven. <laughs> Time has taken its toll on this. Well, you're probably actually almost there for real this time. So yeah, uh, Toa uh, has a as a as a martyrdom thing. She likes to martyr herself. Hey, don't use that cursed item; it'll kill you. I was like, I'm gonna use the cursed item. No, there's like. You'll there's like four fake out deaths with her. Yeah, it's, it's like it kind of it kind of ruins the dramatic tension after a while. It's funny as fuck because it's like we know she's not gonna die. No, this time she's really dead. Actually, I'm just kidding. She did die. Yeah, who could have thought? <laughs> and then. And then it's like, 
Hey, uh, what, what does severing the thread of fate do? Uh, whatever makes the situation resolve itself the best. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss watching that show. That show was, was incredibly <laughs> just funny. I remember we were watching and you're like, we're not gonna see Inuyasha and Kagomi reunite with their daughter until like the final episode. And then that episode, they reunited with them with them, and, and I was like, yeah, you yield little faith. It still took a really long time, though. Like, they really yeah. hold out on you for, like, any of the familiar stuff from Inuyasha in that show. Whoa! I've been waiting I... for you, Link. <laughs> well, did you see Link's, like, little wave? <laughs> this, show, this game's funny. <laughs> now we're gonna meet King Zora. Is King Zora gonna be, like, fat? It's gonna be Oedipus Rex. Hello? Oh, you got, like, partial masks now. Oh. Master Link, is it truly you, the Hylian Champion? It's me, Riven. Riven? We used to Riven. swim together when I was but a child. Wow, you guys live a long time. How long do you guys live? I'm gonna, I'm gonna humor familiar. him. Yeah, don't be mean. Now I'm over 130 years old. You've aged well for a Hylian. I guess Zoras kind of are the the elf equivalent in some ways. Uh, yeah, they're water elves. Father, we are on guard duty right now. Leader of the pack, Baz, the heroine Gaddison, and my father, Trello. They have all aged quite a bit. Mm. Oh, but Master Link, you probably shouldn't speak to the elderly. Well, why not? Should... Are they going to well... feel bad about how I look versus how they look? Are they going to be pissed for something I did or didn't do? A shrine down there? Yeah. Damage is minimal. Hi. Good evening. I can't tell which ones are men and... Are you we need a, a highly... Where are my manners? I am La Flat. I am the chief secretary for the royal family. Yeah. Are you curious about this statue of Lady Mifa? Oh, yes, sure. Sir. Yeah, I, that's what that is? Okay. Please allow me to explain. There's a statue of the former Zora champion. Her name was Lady Mifa. She was as kind as she was beautiful. They say her ability to heal wounded soldiers was beyond compare. Ah, she was the healer of the group. The elders of the domain all love Lady Mifa dearly. If you'd like to know more, you should try talking to one of them. Okay, but one of them just said not to talk to one of them. Okay, what's this shrine? Stuff. Fleet Lotus Seeds. Uh, they increase your, your movement. movement speed. Okay. That sounds useful. Bright-Eyed Crab. Punishes stamina. Oh, okay. That's, that's also useful. Like a, a stamina improving seafood. I found the most prof- if I have a bunch of ingredients, the most profitable way to just get money quickly is to just cook stuff and sell it. Link- Link does a side hustle as a chef. I mean, if All you right. count, like, putting five ultra meats on a stick, chef-worthy, yeah. Uh, <laughs> how much does that sell for? Uh, it's- it's just formulaic, it's like, uh, twice the value of the ingredients you put into it. So, oh, I think okay. five of the meats was like 400 rupees. There you go. The hunting is profitable in this game. Pushing power! Is this Pachinko? Uh, unknown. Gotta push one of the stones in there. Maybe a bomb? Oh, those, those ones seem to have stopped. <gasps> oh! I don't know if I was supposed to do this, but I see a treasure chest. Eh, maybe, maybe you're fine. 
Why why would they allow you to do this if they I, didn't want you using the cryo? I can't wait for them to uh, remake this game, but make it so that you can only use ice in certain sparkly spots. Oh my god. That was, the Majora's Mask uh, 3DS remaster, like, remaster or remake? I, I'd say remake. remake. It, it, I, I, sorry, uh -oh. stuff, like, that laser hurt you? A little bit. What did that laser, is it just a laser? What there's, certain stuff, there's certain stuff about that game that, like, really just, just rubs me the wrong way in terms of, like, like, the, the time stuff, uh, that's good. That's a, that's a decent, like, thing to add. Attack up plus six! But it's still, like, not very strong. I mean, if you want to take down, like, one of the, uh, t take that, wear, uh, wear the fucking, uh, like, Berserker uniform, you can really just take down the, uh... It's 15 attack power. Uh oh. Well, how do I get that? Can I just walk? Oh. Oh, you can. Oh, you can block the, uh... Oh, you gotta okay, push so it Okay, so it's down. not just any boulder. I need oh. to get that one specifically. Yes. This is, this is, seems complicated. Okay. So, you can destroy those, so you can reset your, uh... So you gotta push it down, and you gotta... It is Pachinko! You were right! It's Pachinko, but you're allowed to cheat, kind of. That's right, we're gonna cheat! you climb up, or do you need to do something else? <laughs> ah! Bomb. Just throw a bomb up there, and then just detonate it. Wait, can you really do that? Ah! Yeah. I was off course. It worked. Yeah. Try just using one bomb without the stasis. Alright. Let's see if that... Maybe you don't need to go, like, gung-ho immediately. Yeah, okay. Alright, fine. Wait, it's not hitting now. Are you out of range? Yeah, you're out of range, bro. Okay, that's it. Uh, is that too far? I think you can push it back. No, you can, you can go to the other side and you can push it back. Just, just like, uh, just like manually. That was an underrated character, Shizune. Uh, Tsunade is like assistant lady. Oh yeah, she just kind of she just kind of hangs out, acts nice, does her job, never gets any yeah. credit for anything. She's a uh, popular in fanfics. Is she? Yeah, uh, mostly as like a side chick for Naruto. <laughs> Yeah, it's agreed that she's another one of the characters that just doesn't uh, get a whole lot of credit. She also kind of, like, tries repeatedly to say, hey, maybe we shouldn't be sending Naruto out on these missions that will put him in direct contact with the Akatsuki. Maybe that's and, a bad idea. And then Tsunade's like, I don't have a choice. And I she, am Hokage. She, she, like, tries to explain why it's, why it's a, a good idea, and she never really successfully explains why. I know what you're trying to do now! Holy shit, that is a brilliant idea. Just don't even go bother with the water. Just, like, fucking go down that way. Yeah, it's broken. 
That's gonna hit that wall. Maybe. I think it's off course. No? Ain't no one got time for Pachinko. Okay, it's still there. Ah, did it fall? Okay, it's still good. Uh... I don't think you should... Yeah, I think you should just try pushing it manually and... Oh, uh, hey! It... Hey, he won't. He won't push? Okay, well, uh... Just use your stasis and slightly tap it. Or, or you can do that! That's not gonna send it that far. <sighs> okay. WHERE'S THE BALL?! <laughs> Fucking God! Did it break? It, you! <laughs> I didn't think you, they could break. You! Okay, look, you, when we tried to bomb it at the top, it you, barely moved, okay? You! Fucking! <laughs> Man, at least it's happened! No! Dynamite! Maybe it flew off. Maybe it was too strong. Maybe... You shouldn't need to do a full bot, full like hit on like a golf ball that's like next to a hole. Okay, now when you stasis something and you hit it once, it doesn't really just tap it. So maybe, well, maybe more than once, maybe twice. But maybe instead of like going immediately for like fucking like, no, we're going now. You should have just like maybe experimented around a little bit with like starting low and going slow. No, I'm saying if you use stasis and hit it once, it goes flying. Uh, not all the time. So it's inconsistent. I'm not falling for your fucking traps! Just <laughs> shut up and do it right! Oh, it's- I see it. I oh. think it was too far. Yeah. It's weird that, a, a, like, a bomb without stasis just doesn't budge it. But it... It did something to it the other time! Well, it can't budge it out of here, apparently. There Let's you try go. one bomb. One bomb is probably enough. Okay, I think it's good. Ah, oh, really? It, it hit the lip. You had it. You had it, and you just did. You just fucking like shit the bed. Again, I was basing my judgment on the fact that this doesn't move. Oh, it moved it this time. It did. You know what happened? It did move it, but like you, you fucked with it. Hey, you know what you could do? I, oh, it's it's doing the pachink. It's pachinkoing. Is it gonna stop? It stopped. All right. Here's what you do. You're gonna. Th you you. What? Rather than listening what do you to suggest? me, you just use the ice to like move it over. Just put it underneath the ball, and the ball will go up. Move it over to like straight. Just move it over the thing. Yeah. And then it's gonna roll. Then you stop it with the. Stop it. Stop it with the ice. Or stasis. Okay. Now hit it. Okay. That should be enough. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll see. There you go. Tap it. Tap it. So you don't even need to. St why? 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 It stopped okay, working. Whatever. No, I'm not saying why to you. I'm saying why to the ball. Watch it. This is just gonna go, not even go in. Okay, good. All smash attacks all the time. Never not. Resurrection Bob, your trial was bullshit. It's not even getting to the fucking weird ass wind. <laughs> it's your fault for trying to cheat it.
resourcefulness. We're not even we're not even to the fucking dungeon yet. Man, I got the master sword. I don't even need these anymore. Uh I mean, is it, more life it could help. Get up to 20 hearts. You, it'd probably be better than like having like 3 hearts. What were you doing in there, Link? Ugh, I was playing Pachinko. You are a degenerate gambler, Link. Rice. Oh, they're so Shelf in trout. I feel like... I think that's an ingredient for a, a clothing recipe. Oh, yeah? Gotta put You're trout in my clothes. Trout. <laughs> what are you doing, Mr. Goron? Remember when they were allowed in the... Pr Prince Sidon recruited me and brought me here. That's because I can cut shock arrows, but I also weigh a lot. Mm. Oh, he needs to be able to carry someone. I imagine, like, Goron just, like, walking through as people shoot, like, electric arrows at him. He just is unaffected as he's just, like, lumbering around. The water, though! Doesn't work. Hey, where'd the prince go? Oh, hello, Zola. He's, tell he's telling me to meet the king. Hey, it's a little one. Good day. I'm shy. Um, who are you? Um. Hey, don't copy me. Oh, now that I have a closer look, I see you're a Hylian. So if you're a Hylian, did you come from far away? I ask, cause my... Oh, never mind. My dad told me not to talk to strangers. Is, is one of your parents a Hylian? <laughs> uh, yeah, like, interbreeding is a thing. Like, look at the Gerudo. You look sad. What's wrong, old fish man? Oh. Evil. A Hylian, not just any Hylian. Isn't that you, Link? How dare Dare you show your face? Here. Oh, wow! Wow! Why are you? So... His his face looks like Isma. Yeah. I Trello shall punish you on behalf of our beloved Lady Mifa. That's what I'd like to do anyway. I'm afraid those of us in the Zora Council have our hands full trying to figure out what to do next about Ruta. Not Ruto. Ruta. Ruta Bega. Lady Mifa, our Zora champion, in order to help defeat Calamity Gammon. Ganon, she piloted the Divine Beast, Varuta. Why is the Divine Beast sending a plague of rain to us and making the Domain suffer? You're fish! You don't like water? Fuck you. Don't talk to the elders. So is Naburis, uh, Ruta, I don't remember what the, the bird one was called. So dreamy. You're, you're like five. Ah, get from the sky, scale of light. Who are you? I'm a swordsman. A I'm just I'm just a Raroni, that I am. A swordsman, a traveling one, so cool. But you know, Prince Sidon is much cooler. He I can voice children with this voice. Fuck it. Uh, where is the king? Let us let us try to follow the weeps. Oh, I need these. Yeah, give the me king? those river snails. Sneaky. Oh wow, cool. deep pools of water. That's like the it's like the Zora symbol. <laughs> Earth, Hylian, fleshly. Fleshy bags of mostly water. Oh, that's a shrine. Or no, it. A traveler, eh? Upon this stone monument is the proud history of the Zora, as dictated by King Dorafan himself many years ago. We're just gonna transcribe it to a book? 
Link! The Hylian who stole away our Lady Mipha! What? I'm sorry, did I have a harem a hundred years ago? I thought I was with Zelda. <laughs> was Daruk in the harem? What? Not only did you Hylians fail to stop Calamity Ganon, you went and stole our Lady Mipha from us. I will never forgive you awful Hylians. I'll never forgive the Japanese! Zora helmet. I get it. You need the Zora helmet to uh, stop uh, to get to the fucking. Joseph just kind of decided to stop being British. That's between parts two and three. Yeah, well, he took. I think was he living in America, and so he adopted an American accent. That. Well, he showed up as an old man at the end of part two, in a, with a British accent. And then they decided not to go with it for the entirety of part three. Yeah, because it'd be difficult. You know what, it's fine, because the part three one is, is more uh, iconic. I am the king Zora because I am the fattest Zora. That's how it works. I I am I'm the tactical Zora because my head is the flattest. That is how it works. You must be the Hylian that Sidon brought here. You did well to come all the way here. Yeah. Um all the elders are pissed at me though. Are you gonna are you gonna chastise me? That object upon your waist, is that not a Sheikah slate? Now I'm kind of wondering how much dialogue we missed out on if everyone in this game was going to comment on us not wearing any clothes. Oh well. I guess we could take them off before we talk to, like, main characters like this. <laughs> I wonder if there's a compilation on YouTube. You're you the are the champion Link. Do not tell me you have forgotten me. Yeah, I got amnesia. I'm sorry. So that's where I've heard your name before. What a fateful coincidence that we should cross paths. You're nice, I like you. The rest of the elders are shit. We've met numerous times, I'll have you know. Ah, so many memories. My mind is overflowing with nostalgia, my friend. I heard a terrible rumor that you had fallen in combat, but it appears you managed to survive. It wasn't easy. <laughs> I, wish, I wish that was a fucking lie. It wasn't easy. I've been... Surely you Sleep. must remember my precious daughter, Mifa. Wow, you're really old. Uh, nope. Have you truly forgotten my dear Mifa as well? You and Mifa were so close, yet you do not remember her? Oh, is he in love with, uh, with Mifa? Do you see that statue? Does gazing upon Mifa's immortalized form still not jog your memory? Perhaps your memory will return in time. I dearly hope so. I, this guy is so reasonable so far. Do believe? Do not believe discussing my sister's helping matters at the moment. Link seems confused. Mm. Of course. First, it is worth noting how remarkable it is that Sidon brought a champion here without realizing it. That is quite a feat, my boy. Yeah. My boy. <laughs> I do not doubt you've endured a great many trials. Still, I must ask you to hear my plea. Now then, hero, I must inform you that Zora's domain is in danger of vanishing because of Divine Beast Varuta. Don't you guys live in water? Like, I thought you'd think that, like, it wouldn't be too bad. Uh, so you only did the, the Gerudo. Like, you only yeah. did one of the four beasts. In your I, own... don't know what the, I don't know what the other two de de beasts are. We cannot stop this beast. Will you lend us your strength? Yeah. Flat. Flat. My liege, do not speak so. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with your head? Why the very thought of it curls my fins. Ah, that's some good old fantasy racism. I expected more from you. How could you still protest? Uzu, it is rude to speak that way to your king and his guest. Link is here because I invited him. With such unprecedented so. rainfall, we have no choice but to rely on the aid of a trustworthy Hylian. No such thing as a trustworthy Hylian. He is the key to saving Zora's domain. I have no doubt in my mind. They say that the Hylians failed to stop the Calamity. Like, they, they have no responsibility in this. Like, like hey, go save got... our world. Oh, uh, you failed? You fucking lazy? They are fish elves. Please stop cutting down all the trees. Now buy our, our wood gear. <laughs> Door fortress. <laughs> Have you forgotten already, my king? We cannot trust these lowly Hylians. 
What are you gonna do, huh? They abused the power of an ancient civilization and turned Hyrule into what it is today. That is not the least of it. I, g I guess, like, now there's Zora rel related to various types of fish. This guy's like a manta ray Zora. Yeah. Like, they're like, like, uh, like fishmen in one piece. Divine Beast Varuta has the unique ability to create an endless supply of water. Just send it over like the fucking Gerudo and just... For us, Zora, water and air are as one, so you would not think this would be quite so critical of a problem. Yeah, let, okay, tell me why it's a problem. The rains have filled the eastern reservoir nearly to a point of flooding. Yeah. The reservoir bursts. I, will, I fear immense damage will befall not only Zora's domain. It's not, it's not the fact that there's going to be a lot of water. It's the fact that it's going to cause mudslides. Yep. And endanger Hylians. Why would I care about Hylians? No one asked you, Muzu. You three are the most racist people in the... Uh... Yeah, send this to, to the, the, the Gerudo Desert. Yeah. I don't know where the camel could go. Like, who needs lightning? Uh, <laughs> the Gorons. Or... They'll use it to put on like firework shows that don't affect them. Oh, it is underwater. For some reason, I thought it'd be flying in the sky. I don't know why. I just <laughs> was that was that the bird's power to just fly forever? I guess it had cannons. It had... Yeah, it was an aerial weapons platform. This one is a uh... elephant. Elephant. You ever, you ever see the uh, the movie Thinner? Uh, no. Like there was there was a uh, there was a Romani like uh, curses in that one, where okay. a guy walks, he walks up to a guy, set puts his hand on like the main character, goes Thinner, and I'm thinking like, you've mentioned that bit of like the gypsy just saying a word to someone and then they're cursed with whatever she says. Yeah. It was a guy, actually. I, I rewatched it. Yeah, it was like a dude. Um, and, uh, huh. like, water! <laughs> and then suddenly it just starts raining. It never stops raining. Okay, so the elephant has orbs on it that are, uh, like, they're, they're vulnerable to electricity and they control the flow of water. Perhaps we could, because we could not safely strike it with enough electricity at once, the water soon returned to its full force. Oh. That's why I went in search of a Hylian who could help us. We have a type disadvantage. I like. I really, really like him. I don't know why. He's just so co so. He's so confident. He's so nice. Need to use shock arrows to get those orbs working again. I will aid you in any way I can, of course. Please, Hero, I beg of you, help me stop Ruta's rampage of destruction. I um. Why? Why is he hesitant? Does he not want involved in this? He just, he's, he's taken aback by his, like, forceful personality. I'm kind of, uh, you know, I'm uncomfortable with that racist old man in the room. Could, could we ask him to leave, maybe? Can we kill him? Can we, like, kill him and, and, like, eat him? What? Princess Zelda herself instructed you to board the Divine Beast and appease it from within. So then Princess Zelda is still alive? I, I think. I mean, I haven't yeah, met her. Yeah, she's, she's, she's been sealed in the fucking... She's in the castle walls. It's like Mario 64. We can regain control of the Divine Beasts. They may yet prove useful in sealing Calamity again, once and for all. I haven't gone to the castle. There's like a, a, a legendary cookbook in there, or something. <laughs> the legendary cookbook of Hylia? Yeah. Alright, yeah, let, let's good. appease Ruta. Thank you. Meanwhile, old racist dude is just like, oh, God damn, my fucking kind-hearted king. Allow me to offer you this gift as a show of faith. Oh, great. Swim speed. Up. Uh, custom armor painstakingly crafted by each generation Zora princess for a future husband. Okay, so it, the... the tradition graduated from being a crystal to being a tunic. You can ascend waterfalls. <laughs> swim, literally swim upstream. King Dorothan! Oh, here we go. Surely you do not really intend to give this to outsider the Zora armor? Oh, God. 
Countless generations of Zora princesses have gifted that armor to the one they've sworn to marry. Princess Mifa made that wa that one with her own hands. She's Far. been dead for a hundred years, Muzu. Move on. Maybe a champion, but Mifa had no such relationship with him. So why should he receive such an honor? What a grumpus. They're all... all it's just the three of them. He's not easily swayed. By the way, oh. the, the Naruto world is another one of those cases where, like, the Hokage is the only reasonable one, and all the other power is in, like, a, a corrupt curmudgeon ninja council of, like, ten yeah. old people. I know about the curmudgeon ninja council. Uh, they they are also a subject of, like, fan fictions, and, like, everything wrong in Naruto's life can be traced back to them. It's, every series needs a central 46. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine. But it's, it's a good thing that everyone, all, all the Dragon Ball Z characters are basically outside every system of government. Yeah. Imagine <laughs> those idiots trying to, like, navigate bureaucracy. <laughs> they, you know what, what? If they were in charge of government, every situation would be resolved via trial by combat. That's kind of what, like, DC is, though, is, like, super-powered peoples that are you know, trying to trying to work with the systems of the humans. Yeah, they they're it's it, as like opposed I said, to Dragon Ball Z and Marvel, that everyone just fucking does whatever they want. Yeah, I don't I don't think the the, the governments of like the world like uh, like ever really like were against uh, the, any of the main DBZ characters at all. Yeah, well, Goku was like acknowledged as a, a hero. There was Goku Day, and everyone just. Kind of just never was acknowledged again after well, cause, that. Because Hercule took over as like the as like the great savior of the world, and and Hercule was just like, okay, yeah, sure. And then and then all the uh, DBZ characters were like, okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> Did Goku Day become like <laughs> Arbor Day? Just no one cares or remembers it. Yeah, God, God, bring Arbor Day back. Like, why, why do we need to convince? Him? Let him be racist. I don't care. Fucking leave him. Let let him like wallow. We gotta go if, like stop an elephant. Look, if we do that, they'll probably try to kill the king because because they're they're not ready for it. Also, we need to finish the outfit. Oh, we, gotta the, we gotta get the Zora boots. Oh. We gotta get the Zora helm. What's up? Yeah, stanky leg. Oh. <laughs> also, I just remembered something. Uh, what? we never actually finished. The Gerudo area. What do you mean we didn't finish it? So, uh, we... You wanna go back to the desert? Okay. We, we uh... I, I should've done this at the start of the stream, but I forgot. We beat the, the camel thing. We, we stopped uh -huh. the rampage. And then we just kinda left. And the princess has been waiting to hear back about how it went since then. I, there's no more sandstorms! How do you think it went, lady? Like, gee, he's been gone a long time. I hope he's okay. Did he died? Slink, I thought you you died stopping the rampage this whole time. I got lost on the path of life. Where's my sexy clothes? There we go. Sexy. I wonder if people react to the sexy clothes. Probably not. What, in like uh, Zora's domain? Yeah. Savo! Hello. Die. So you can like uh -oh. you can dye the Gerudo gear, but you can't change the looks of any of the other. Uh... You can. Oh, it's you can. Like that, there's that one shop in uh, in uh, High in uh, Kakariko that dyes stuff. Oh. I, I fuck it. I fuck with it. Sorry, not fuck. I right, fuck it. <laughs> we okay, what kind of what colors of skeletons can we be? Can we be a glowing red skeleton? You can't die all of them, I don't think, but if you want to try, you could be Red Skeleton. Yeah, that's something we could do this stream. Go to Hylia, or not I don't, I want to say Hylia! Uh, Kakariko. I found, uh, I found one more town that we hadn't been to, despite having the whole map unlocked. There's like a fishing town. Oh, yeah? Oh, oh you're I back! You're... I thought you died! It's been days. I'm glad yeah, you're okay. I'm Truly, I am. Naboris is no longer a threat to the town. 
Still worried about the larger threat to Hyrule, but at least my people won't be troubled by the Boris anymore. Want to you offer you these as thanks for your help. Oh, I wonder what they are. They, they were once worn by Lady Urbosa. Worn? Are they going to be like pants that are five sizes too big for me? Maybe, maybe it's jewelry. Well, let's check it out. I'm a little annoyed because I just like bought all the Gerudo jewelry. That is the treasure of the Gerudo, the Thunderhelm. You may be held in high esteem, but this does not give you the freedom to lay your hands in the pride of our people. Calm, calm yourself. I... Yeah! Wait, you want... You really? I cannot just give such a precious thing to you. But you are up against the enemy of Lady Urbosa. If you truly desire it, perhaps I can lend it to you. Yes! Gimme! To earn this tre cultural treasure, you must gain the trust of our people. Okay, I want how? you to address their concerns and bring a resolute peace to our town. I mean, wow, that sounds difficult. We already know that you are powerful, but you can't solve all my people's problems with power alone. I'm guessing... Okay. I, maybe these are new side quests, because I've already done, I think, all the side quests that were available in Gerudo Town. You can always, like... Yeah. Alright. Scimitar of the Seven. And the Daybreaker. The fuck is the Daybreaker? The gold that was. You don't make, like, armor out of gold. You do if you really, really want to prove a point. It is a pretty cool looking shield. Yeah, that's a. That's I'll save a it for a special thing. occasion. Yeah. Fighting another, like, really complicated boss. Okay. Uh, well, you got some items. Do you want to solve their problems, or do you want to speak to the racist old men in Zora's domain? I should probably. I, I, go I, I feel like I feel like we stuff. can't. I feel like we can't like uh, like talk about it a whole lot, or else the fucking YouTube will cop will like uh, do a takedown on us <laughs> again. <No. laughs> uh, fucking YouTube. It's always filled with like. Of, like people that are just like hi yeah, I'll, I'll do I'll do Gerudo stuff like off camera and I'll, I'll come back and I'll have the the, the thunder helm it's gonna be useless because you think it'd be it'd be the most useful dealing with Zora shit yeah that's true yeah, I did we're I, probably it, we've been going a while so we're probably not gonna do like the the thing itself today are we pro I don't know probably not uh you let's wanna, you go, wanna try, uh, let's, let's you go talk to the, to the old man. Okay. Oh, the old men? Uh, I, I guess say, I could try. Men, you could try the island. island. Just do it. You could do it like a couple of... You could try it like once or twice and see if... Uh, no, dude. It'd be easier if you... Yeah. Go to like, like one of the... Here? shrine. Yeah, that shrine and then just, and just glide over there. I think it either takes away just your weapons, or, or it also takes away your weapons and armor, leaving you just in your boxers. Naked slink. I might as well leave me in the Gerudo gear, that's like no defense. Muojim. Did you not do this one either? I did. You, you did? can't okay. climb shrines, so unfortunately I can't get a, uh, a higher... You won't need it. You're plenty high up. Alright, here we go! The other thing I uh, watched recently was uh, Mob Psycho 100. Yeah, you mentioned it was. Uh, you remember best. how My Hero took three seasons to get good? Mob Psycho takes like two seasons to get good? Nah, it takes three. Wow. <laughs> but how good is it after it gets good? Eh. Okay, fair enough. Oh wow, you're you're halfway through your uh, your stamina, and you're not even like that close. You gonna make it? Need to eat some uh, some fruit. 
Stamina fruit. So I could see if I have any like stamina food. Oh no, I don't. Swimming doesn't take that much stamina, so maybe I should. Uh... You have the Azura armor. Oh yeah. Yeah. Do you have a? Uh... Stamina? Anything stamina? No. Don't appear to have any stamina stuff. Oh, you're you're dead. You're gonna die. All right. Where's Mazora armor? Oh, I see you made you made uh, some fairy like a uh, potion. No, someone gave me that. Oh, did they say how they made that cursed item? And opal earrings. Oh. Salvager got... headwear. That's oh, the same oh. thing. What's the, what's the difference? There seems to be a difference between the opal earrings and the. Salvager headwear. What's, what does it look like? I mean, it looks different, but it's just weaker. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. It's one of the, like, Xenoblade items. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's not enough difference. You're good. Well. So, uh, we found a thing that I'm gonna need more stamina for. Or I could just go, like, cook a stamina dish. Yeah, just, I guess. Go, just go cook something. Cook a stamina dish. You got, like, tons of, like, items. Uh, fishing, where's the fishing, there's the fishing village. I don't think I've ever been down there. Have I? Still wearing the fucking like, <laughs> wearing the, the pants. Those aren't swim trunks. Just just remove your pit. There you go. <laughs> it kind of looks like a diver outfit now. You look like a what? Like a like a diver outfit. Yeah, it's pretty cool actually. Oh hello. Hey, yeah. mommy, I'm hungry. You're just like anything. Yeah. Cook up. This is Luralin Village. We're a small fishing town and proud of it. My husband's a fisherman, and I have two sons who will probably grow up to be fishermen, too. All we do is fish. We eat Seafood so much fish. Seafood paella. How, how do I make that? We need goat butter and hearty blue shell snail. Uh, do we, ha we have... I think we have the blue shell. We have the snail. Do you have the the goat? You probably have the goat butter too. Oh. All right, wait, wait, just just make the okay, whatever. What? Do whatever you want. I, I I'm getting upset at nothing. I was I was gonna go buy the goat butter because I know it's for sale at Kakariko, but we don't have to. And yeah, we can It'll, if it's if it's that quick. Um. Uh, what is a stamina thing? Hyrule uh, herb. No, that's just that's food. Uh, Stemma, Stemella Shroom. Yep, you got 13 of those. Uh, is there... That's decent enough. I'll make two just in case. Yeah. Always handy. You want to hear you want to cook some other stuff, or...? Nah. Cook some, uh... I like it says swim speed up and the swimming speed isn't really that, that much better. With two of them, even. Maybe it's not meshing. Well. Yeah, I do like it. It's just, it's like a diver's outfit. Zora wetsuit. <clears throat> I give this wetsuit only to my husband. Okay. Right. What do you think I Zora's sex is like that the husband needs a wetsuit? <laughs> you gotta go underwater. <laughs> Zora's sex. Uh... Zora lay eggs, canonically, right? Yeah, well, in Termina they did. Terminian Zora eggs. But it was all a dream. Or was it the afterlife? 
I, I want to I want to believe like Terminian Zoras are real, but they also create a lot of conflicts with other versions of Zoras. Yeah. Namely that they live in like salt water and also that they lay eggs. Or like remember how the Gerudos were pi were like sea bearing pirates in the in Terminia or, Ter or Termina? Yeah. Yeah, it's uh so they don't normally live in deserts. And then the Hylians, they were uh not a monarchy. In the in the in Termina. Yeah, fuck you, seagulls. Dude, your stamina! I'll just eat while I'm falling, it's alright. Nom nom nom. Just, I'm gonna be cool. It was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Which is the most disappointing thing that you're able to get away with it. That's slightly better. Maybe it would have been... You who has traveled to this island! Yeah. I Where present you with a challenge. In your travels, you've relied on the equipment you found along the way. Yeah, are you ready? Here, you must cast this equipment aside and face this trial with only your wits and whatever you can scavenge. And then just magic naked. Offer up to the offer up the orbs to the three altars. Yep. So you do have you still have your uh, immediate octorock. Yep. So you do still have your. Uh... Hold on, check check to see what the, exactly they took. Yeah, they took everything. Except Lizard. For your... Oh, hello. And it's it's the thunderstorm. That's great. It'll cover the sound. Will cut. It'll cover the sound of you. So one of them, uh, the one of the orbs is like a, is like him on, on the uh, around the neck of the uh, dude. Y'all got any weapons? Stick. Yeah, you got a tree branch. That's a good start. Got him. Crabs. You know what? That's food. Yes, get to the fire. Get to the fire, cook the crab. You also still have your, uh, your tablet abilities. Ah! Man! Fine, you can you can find uh, firewood on this island, maybe. Hey, shrooms! Remember that uh, there was this uh, there was that episode of uh, of uh, King of the Hill where uh, where what was it? Dale was just in the middle of like the fucking like wilderness. I didn't have time to cook, man. And, and he was like tripping on he was tripping balls. Hey, don't think I saw that one. Yeah, I... Oh my god! So there's three orbs, and you gotta offer them up to the highest point of the mountain. Yeah, tree branches. Is it always a thunderstorm here? No. You just got... Is it? Wait, did they modify it? It isn't supposed to be. Yeah, hey, eat me some hearty lizard. That's a hearty lizard. That's Boca Blends. Yeah, can you take him with just a... Uh... Oh, it doesn't no. let me save here. You cannot save right now. <laughs> Wait, you, you know what you still have? You still have your uh, your spin attack. That'll trigger oh. the. Uh... Wow! Thanks. Oh, once one. You. What? I got a stick. The ancient art of Hylian stick fighting. Hey, you got him. Bonk! 
Oh, he dropped his... Where'd his weapon go? I don't know. I'll just get that one, I guess. Yeah, better than nothing. Aked palm Aked. fruit from a lightning strike that killed the tree. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's food. Food's food. Uh... You don't have any flint. Boko so Spears, also two power. Yeah, slightly stronger. Can also throw him. Okay, Open what's in here. All right. Hit it. A sword. It's not the not the worst. Fruit. It would really be handy if you had like, uh, like some fucking. Uh... Hope it doesn't get too cold on this island. No, it's a tropical island. It's actually still warm. Oh, there's a fire right, right down the, right down the way. It seems like, or is that just an orb? <gasps> like the torch, like the, like the campfire. Campfire. Yeah, because there was a campfire back there. You can use that to cook your, uh... You can use that to, uh, cook your food. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yes! Crab! I don't think bananas cook. I know the mushrooms and the and the nuts do. Yeah. That's... Every little bit helps. I like this. This is like island survival. Uh... I gotta survive on this island. Oh, you have... There you go. One of them's cooking. Roasted acorn. I'm, I'm wary to get too close because I'll just set myself on fire. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, set yourself on fire. If only there was some water around. Okay. Can you cook the li You probably can't cook the lizards. Eating lizards? Can't do that. Can you, cook the, can you, like, cook the truffle? I don't know, but those are kind of rare, so I kind of don't want to. Yeah. So you, it's proven you can cook the palm fruit. Alright, cool. So you got enough food to, uh... <gasps> Another crab! I know where you're going. You're going. Going in the fire. Gonna be my dinner. I be your spirit animal, man. Chomp. Alright. Let's, uh... You want to top off or you want to save it? We can't oh, save. Injured. No, I'm saying save the food. Oh. Bodor. Uh, seems like the... Oh, you can fish as well if you need to. Got a boat oar. Boat oar. <laughs> so, I mean, Soul Calibur 2, you could have a boat oar on, like, a nightmare. Ah! Dumb goat. And, uh, and every time you, the boat oar made contact, you'd hear, like, the... Like waves. Oh, I thought that was the. I thought that was Mitsurugi had the boat oar. Oh, was it him? No, he had a wooden sword. Ah. I remember oh, every character had... in Soul Calibur 2 had a joke weapon. Yeah. Okay, so one of the. One of the. Uh, you can't save. That's a one shrine. The, that's. I think there's a hole in there. So that's where you put one of the. Uh, orbs. So you're going to need to get. 
So there's one orb around the neck of a, uh... Oh, hey. Uh-oh. You're on fire. Oh, it's not strong enough for these things. That could be useful for, like, uh, ambush tactics. You don't have any bow and arrows, so... You're probably gonna have to throw sticks at, at your... At, at stuff to, like... So I'm gonna have... Stuff. I'm gonna have to work up to beating that high Nox. Either that, either that, or you just you just need to get the uh, thing or from from it. Oh, the boat oar is like really strong. What the fuck? Boku Plenar might as well. Oh wow, there's a lot of them. Thankfully, they only take two hits, no matter what you use. Yeah. If only I had my bone gear. I haven't beaten this yet, but this is one of my favorite shrines. Just because of how involved it is. Is that goopy water that I can't swim in? Uh... Unknown? You could have done that, or you could have literally just gone up, like, on a, onto a tree and jumped from there. Hey, a woodcutter's axe. You can get firewood that way. What's in here? Just a hole. Yep, it is. It's fine, you got the axe, you just remove you just lose a heart, you're fine. Whoops. Hey, the branch is on dude, I wonder he set like a wooden Instead of wooden what? Set it like a wooden weapon on fire and use it as like as like a way to like just like deal extra damage to enemies. Or like set enemies on fire. Can't save! Still can't save, you're still trapped on the island. Alright, so okay. Nope. That barely did anything. Yeah, it, it sucks not having, like, uh, like good weapons, huh? It's rough. <laughs> what? What was that? Yeah, fuck it. Just throwing spears like, a, like, like you're in the Stone Ages. Bin. Oh, bow! Useful. Oh, it was still on fire. Come here, Boko Bl Oh, no, I put it out by accident. This place... This place is an Eden. An Eden we need to correct. Alright, what's your strategy? Boko Blin arm? Oh, this one's black. <laughs> he got fucked up. Where'd he go? He's probably running up the stairs. Yeah, oh, oh, here's, here's an orb. Yeah, there's one of them. Ah, there we go. If only he had some arrows. Probably in there. Shock arrows. Better than nothing. You probably should save save those bows and arrows for the fucking high knocks. Just break. You're wait. Oh, you're still you're still in the wait. What? Okay, can you equip it now? There you go. Dropped his bow. Almost dead! Dude, you're gonna wake the Hinox. I'm gonna come back and then just fucking... 
Yeah, there you go. You got him. Boca Blind Guts. Nice. Uh, the way you're describing this, I thought this would be way shorter. Uh, <laughs> that's why I said, do you want to take an attempt? Because I knew you were... You're, I thought you were going to die immediately. Oh, you're going to have to carry that shit. All right. me and my orb. It's a goat. Orb! What? There's a goat over there. Yeah, this is meat. I do, I do like this shrine a whole lot. This is a shame I kind of suck at it. No! Orb! Ooh, mushroom. Ah, I gotta go where the ghost is. Imagine, imagine Castaway, except he also had to fight demons. Uh, on it. Castaway like, 2. <laughs> Castaway 2. Oh, fuck, not again. Wait, what the fuck? Yeah, get out of here, goat. Oh, it was a goat? I thought I thought it was something bigger. No, I was worried it was going to attack me. So you know there's one shrine uh, off the coast. Uh, you still you, one a hole on the off the coast. You need to find two more. What's your favorite castaway story? Like stranded on a desert island story. Uh, I don't or have a lot. I don't have a lot I can think of. Uh, I I know way too many. There was a uh, one called the K, where a kid got like blinded from like an accident on the, uh, like during a shipwreck, and he had it was him and this old dude who was like helping him, uh, to survive on a K. Uh, then there was a uh, the famous book Hatchet, which is about a kid who survives a plane crash. Yeah. You better hope that they can float. Try just try walking out in there. Maybe it's not as deep as it as it looks. It no. does float. Okay, we're it good. It floats. Yes, it floats. Maybe toss. No, that's not the toss button. My favorite castaway story <gasps> is Mike, Lou, and Og. Oh yeah, that it was a castaway. Was that a Actually, castaway? Actually, no. It was like a it was like a transfer Forest. student thing or something. Yeah, you're gonna no! be transferred. It's fine. It's fine, dude. You know what I this know, is? I know. This is just Taskmaster. Taskmaster is just like this. Is just this is just oh. damn it. It's fine. Just just you're you're doing fine, bro. Okay. <laughs> this is your Everest. You can just jump on it. Yeah, there you go. Alright, that was one. Do you have to bring them all back here, or is there, are there three others? I'm guessing you have to bring them all back here. I had assumed there were three, like, holes. Uh... You find another one, then you know you don't have to, but... So, you wanna, you wanna see if you can find another one, or do you wanna take on the high knocks? Uh, well, first I was gonna see if there was a, uh, another thing. Like, I'll just walk around the coast to see if there's more holes. Yeah. I think there's a I know, uh... It. What was so it? This... The Forest was like a castaway game with cannibals? Yeah. That seems kind of interesting. Uh, there was also... There's also the famous Rust example um lost is another is another famous uh like castaway story i watched lost as it premiered like with my family <laughs> was that your first like live action show i no it wasn't my first one I'm okay i was about to say that it was so it was like no wonder you have such a low opinion of live action stuff lost is fucking convoluted it's, it was it's a, a show that introduced questions faster than it introduced answers. 
Yeah, and uh, and you know what? The, such a tactic would make you watching the show frustrated, lost. Yeah, that, it was a it was a show with a very apt title, Lost. Like it, the show is called Lost. Is like, what do you well, think? Well, it's got the right name. I can't follow any of it. Oh. Oh, hello. Uh, oh, you just you just walked ass first into a into like a fucking tribe. Uh, you wanna eat your bananas? You got shock arrows. You got a boat oar, and you got a sword. You got to fight. All right. Well, what else am I gonna do? There's a blue one. Wow, you're you are just. Yeah, oh, I dropped my sword. Yeah, what did you think was gonna? Uh, well, I dropped the shield. Uh, <laughs> it's fine. Look, the Boca just... Blends died. Yeah, you lured him into the choo choos. I'm guessing that's how you're supposed to like take him out. Yep, you just just slid right into him. Is that a combination yellow and fire one now? Hey, Sir Stick. Where's your sword? There it is. Oh, there it is. Threw a lit torch at him. Yeah, I think if I remember correctly, you can use if you shoot choo choo jelly, they uh, explode. So, yeah, that's uh, another way you could take out the Hinox. Hey, wait a minute. What? To the left. Another hole. Which means, theoretically, there's a third one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <gasps> See that? What? There's a cooking pot! To the left! I'm still getting food. There you go. Better source of nutrition. You make You can make food now. Hey, there's a... There's barrels up here you can use to, to, to like take out the Hinox. Dude, dude, we're we are set. We are so we are so back. <laughs> we're we we've, we've got this. We've got this by the ass, man. <laughs> nope, nope. I don't want to cook the guts. Put those away. Yeah, cooking the guts makes failure. So this this can be our new home base until the next uh, blood moon. Radish, crab. What do you think? Can I make a multi crab dish? Possibly. Mighty seafood skewer. Oh wow, that's that's really good food. You know what this is? This is good eating. Them's good eating. Tough. Okay. Okay, you got two up here. Oh, you can drop. You can drop it on the high knocks. Just be like, what happened? Oh, you can. Oh, wait. You can use stasis and then just bomb and then fling it, fling the, fling it at the Hinox, like a little bit. Cannonball! <laughs> Alright, let's see if that does anything. One bomb was not enough. Oh, damn. I stubbed his toe. Oh! oh! Who did that? Oh, that did some. Look at that! Look at how much damage that did. All right. So hey, how you want? How you want to take him out? What's your plan? That that's not going to be a whole lot of. You should not like just throw away your weapons. You don't have a lot. You you should think about how. Now, how am I going to get? Am I am I going to have to like slowly walk all the explosives down there? I don't uh, trust rolling them. Yeah, because anything would... Maybe, maybe if you could just go up to him, like, throw, throw one of the barrels to deal damage, and then run back, and then he'll, like, go back to sleep. 
and you just you just repeat that. Man, you have to go gorilla so warfare. Slow walking them down. It's either that or you or you die. Like I, I'm gonna. Do you look? look you're you're very deep in. Do you want to repeat all this shit again? We're gonna desert punk this shit. <laughs> set up explosives around him, and he's gonna wake up in the explosion. You also got a lot of choo choo jelly, and you you have like a five like electric uh, arrows. You can set off a chain of reaction and just and just fucking do that shit. Do you think I should? I don't think I can throw it far enough to not be damaged. So I should like walk up and set it down, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't know how. Uh... Ideally, you'd want to kill him because his his material is like uh... yeah, right in the groin. Groin saw. Okay, you want to throw a bomb? What? It was just one of them. I mean, he'll you oh, can do I that. Could, you yeah. you'll damage, and then you run away. He'll de-aggro, and then. Oh! <laughs> you poor bastard. Or how much damage does that deal? Not a lot by the look of it. Oh wow. Stubbing his toe with the rock did more. Maybe you should just use use you should just wait till he sleeps and then stasis the rock and then just put like an explosive and just do that. Wait, are the are those rocks magnet those rocks seem like they were magnetic. Oh they're back up there! Great. <gasps> I hope he doesn't regain his health by going to sleep. I oh, do you think that's the case? Shit. You, it, once you're once you're there, you gotta commit. Okay. Do it. Okay. Again. Well, that's knocked it off course. Aw, oh, man. Did I hit him? No, I didn't. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm gonna try to drop a rock on this asshole's head. Okay, you think? Oh, that's that's not gonna hit. Yeah, that's way off. Uh, wait. You, here's what you could do. Just, just like go set down all five or six of your choo choo jelly, like all around him. Fire off an arrow and then just, just chain re that's just chain reaction damage. While he's sleeping, just sneak around and just drop like, like one red one, one yellow one, and then just like, just like shoot it with with your single arrow, and then. Do they take extra damage from the head? I think so. Cause it's got the eye. Or you know what? Maybe you could try sneaking up on him and just grabbing the orb from him and just running. I would assume it like pops off of him when he uh, like wakes up, but is it is it playing like like lullaby music? No. Hear him snoring. Maybe you can climb on him. No. Try it. No. Shut up. Oh, I can't like cr crouch and also like drop stuff. Well, you'll you be. I mean, as long as you're standing still, he's not gonna hear you. Uh oh. It's a thunderstorm. You should probably take off that metal shield. Probably equip the yeah, there you go. <laughs> Defense. Bodor. Bodor. Best weapon. I'm starting to think this is a dumb idea, but I'll give it a shot. <laughs> I, I can't think of any else. Yeah, this is this has been my albatross. You also have like the uh, the electric thing you can call down from Urbosa. 
Like the can the one you got from Robosa, just spin attack. So you'd use that as well. Think that's enough? I think so. Let's try it. You need you can use a oh you can use a bomb too, not just an arrow. Just set a bomb and then wait and then just trigger it when you're far enough away. Oh, you just woke nothing. Up. That barely did anything to him. Uh, well, um, you just throw bombs at him, then. I and guess just, I and might just, have to. You get chip damage. Throw it, and does that do anything? Not I mean, why. His, his, his bar's going lower. Let's see how much. It, okay, yeah, no, they're, yeah, just just keep doing that. And just, and just evade. Oh, there's lightning. Yeah, you also got like... Got like two, uh... You got two, like, things of stamina, so it's not like you're... You, you can't, like, run. Uh, good old high, high Nox music. No, oh, let me hear it. We're using uh -oh, high he's, explosives. Oh, he's, he's got put a tree. Your... It's fine. You can, you're still, you are still outrunning him. He threw the tree. No, he didn't. Never mind. Oh wait, you know what you could do? Maybe hit him with a shock arrow to have him drop it. Cause that's how it works, right? I think. Yeah. I wish I could use my like stronger bow if I'm gonna use an arrow on him though. Ah. Uh? It's no longer like like glowing. Maybe maybe it's actually not like uh, like metal enough. Oh no effect. Maybe the eye. Yeah. <laughs> didn't drop it. Or did he? No, he did. No, he didn't drop the orb. Oh, I was gonna say he dropped the but he dropped the stick. You're out of you're out of uh, shock arrows. Hit whack him with a boat or okay. Okay, you're getting you're getting way too close to comfort for him. Yeah. Oh, my boat or is damaged. No, that's a rock. I don't want the rock. Get out of here. But, uh... Just, uh, so I'm back to bombs, I guess. Yeah, I mean, yeah, use your bombs. Just, it's slow, but it works. It, you're, you're just, you just need to stay out of his range, and you got like enough stamina that if he gets like really close, you can just, you can just dash away. What are you doing? Get back here! Nuh-uh. He's mean! Oh! Oh, he's mad. Does he have a second phase? Oh, say phase two. Is he, is he gonna, like, run? No, he's just gonna keep doing the same shit. Pick up the arrow! <sighs> You're taking unnecessary risks. Wait, did he? Oh, he got rid of the... And it turned into wood. I think maybe you just destroyed it with the with your bombs. Crazy look for something else. No. I never thought about doing this. Cause it's fucking stupid. <laughs> it's working though! Like what, you're gonna you're gonna heroically take him out with a boat or yeah. yeah, you would bravely die! You die. You would Uh oh, you he's would... got another tree. That's no, fine, just just fucking do the same shit you were doing. Huh? 
Well, after this, I'll finally be able to get, like, the third Hinox item. I think I needed oh, well. three things. Well, good. I'm glad... You know what? This is, this is helpful. He's getting way too close. He's gonna hit you, and you're gonna die immediately. Oh, look how many hearts I have. I pulled the Master Sword. Holy <laughs> shit. A magical entity just stole the Master Sword from me. <laughs> Maybe this is all just a dream. This is a, this is a dream walk. It's Link's like, Awakening 2. So you know what? This is, this, is tri this is the trial of courage and cowardice that Shomaru always, like, talks about. He talked about that, like, twice, and then it never came up again. Because hey, Shomaru, why don't you help your daughters? They need to go through this. It is a trial of courage and cowardice. Also, I don't I don't want to fuck with both uh, Zero and... Uh, and and uh, Kirin Maru. Kirin Maru. I'll let him take care of one of the two. Once it's down to one, then I'll join in. I can't fight them both. I, I, I'm glad Yashihime exists, if only because it gives us more Jokin. Jokin. He, old man Jokin. He's, cool he, he Uncle Jokin. Cool Uncle Jokin. Like, like, it's just evil characters becoming, like, nicer. Without, like, the, without the, the show... Basically, treating the, like having him be the same. Hey, you got him! See, sometimes smart strategies are the best strategies. Mmm, toenail. Inox toenail. Oh, is there no guts? Maybe it's over there. No, that's just firewood. He didn't, the, they didn't drop Hinox, gut, Hinox Guts, did they? Do they have Guts? I thought they did. Oh, is that not what the, what you were looking for? Uh, no, Mulduga. Mulduga. Mulduga is the giant, like, sandworm in the desert. Okay, and Hinox Toenails are... Uh-oh! Oh, fuck, it's, it's Blood Moon coming up. Can I beat the Hinox again for a second orb? No. I think, I think many bosses don't respawn. Do they? Apparently, uh, ore deposits don't respawn during the blood moon. They're on their own weird separate cycle. Oh, really? They're on. They're on. Th they're on the dwarvish uh, clock. What's this? What's the ore deposit cycle? Hmm. Oh, that's inconvenient. You gotta fight those fuckers oh. up there again. God damn it! Did their did their crates respawn? I think so. No, they so didn't. Get... Oh, no. Uh, so I guess put that down where it's safe. Or, you know, just just hope that they are nice enough to not, like, attack you while you carefully place the... <sighs> Alright. You say, oh, you want me to live? Okay, I guess. Sigh. <laughs> Don't sound so enthused about not killing yourself to a dumb fucking, like, move. But Ma, I don't want to live. I probably shouldn't be getting near these. <laughs> you shouldn't. They can. Stupid spears. Uh, you should. You should probably restore your health. Like. Let me just uh, eat some food while I'm rolling down those. Have I mentioned you suck at this game? Have I? Have I mentioned that yet? This stream. Have we I? Didn't have even, I we didn't. Even, we had an attack boost item. We didn't even use it. I guess we didn't need it a lot. It wouldn't have helped the bombs anyway. No, bomb, I don't think it's affected by bombs unless it is. Um. Uh, let me. Are bombs affected by attack boosts? Uh, 
Uh, thing's gonna roll back down the hill. The new Hinox is gonna see it, say "ooh," and put it on his chest. Is there a new Hinox down there? Yeah, you there see is. It? What the fuck? That's. Uh... Oops. At least you got a lot of yellow choo choo jelly. You can use that to like uh, to like set traps and shit. Oh wait, what? What am I saying? You don't care about that. All you care about is is going in there, just charging with a weapon and being like, ah! I, I do sound like that. <laughs> All right. Uh, you know, you gotta make some more food. Uh, do I have anything worth making? Ah, you got really. a hearty truffle. You have a hearty truffle. You can make like some hard, hard up stuff with. Well, that. that looks like the hardest place on the island to get to, so I'm going to guess that's where the final orb is. Better start climbing. Ooh, hello. What do you see? Oh, is an ore deposit? You said that ore deposits were on their weird cycle. What is their weird? What is the weird cycle? I don't know. Just that they... it's not the. The Blood Moon, apparently. But they do. But they do have a cycle. They do respawn. Yeah. Oh, so soldier spear. Okay, that's useful. What do you think the reward is gonna be? There's, it's gonna be more than orb. There's probably gonna be like a, like a major chest or something containing something pretty sweet. What if we get into the shrine and there's also a shrine puzzle? It's not one of the blessing <laughs> ones. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> you screamed so hard you went choppy. Wait, you you, have, you could just jump. Do you could you you could do the high jump? Oh yeah, I could. I've been hurt. Better eat fish. There was that one like uh like short like a compilation short where. Uh, Stealth mode. You get the club. <laughs> that was that was rad. Wait, nobody noticed that. Hey, you guys hear someone screaming? Oh, oh, all right. You have no arrows. Oh, that dude didn't drop. He was a sniper. It's probably up on top of the fucking platform. I am now the sniper. Five arrows. Make him count. Wait. Oh. I was um, wondering where you were aiming at. That two, was a good shot. Three. Oh, I missed one. I only made four count. That's fine. You, you save the best for last. There's a... There's a... Uh, moblin here. That's alright. They're not that tough. You had you. You say that while wearing armor. You underestimate stuff. You're going to pay for that. All right, soldier shield. You try like uh, doing a dodge attack and doing a flurry. It's Do okay. I know what to do. You're gonna die. No, I'm not gonna die. I should heal. Like... <laughs> I'm so nervous, because you did all this work, and if you die, you, 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 you're gonna miss a save, and it's... And I know it's gonna be to something incredibly dumb. And you're gonna be like, Oh! And you're gonna blame the game somehow. Look, Jack, your bomb strategy worked. Yeah. And you almost didn't follow it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're right next to each other. That's very convenient. That's, the, yeah. Finally, so the shrine is almost over. Don't drink you have, You know what? You have done this shrine. Uh, yeah, go on. You've done this shrine, like, uh, <laughs> that's, not, that's a tough fucking box. There you go. It's a fruitful, very, very fruity island. Yeah, it's a tropical island. 
That's He's a done. big ass barrel. Is Donkey Kong inside? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, dun, you dun, could have done dun, this. Dun 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 dun. No, put it down. Your feet are still showing, idiot. You can throw it. I'm just a barrel. You can throw the fucking barrel. How? That's so rad. I I love this fucking. I wonder uh, what they'll allow you to keep. They probably won't allow you to keep everything. I would assume they do. Well, at any I don't rate, know why they wouldn't. Probably... Well, you got all these weapons you have now. You gotta, and you're gonna get your all your old weapons back. So. Oh, it's covered up by uh, by metal. You gotta move it. Yeah, I was gonna. No, what are you doing? You put it on a slope, you fool! I got it. It's fine. Orbs day out. Uh, nope. It is not metal. Okay. So how you move it? <gasps> Stasis and then, and then bombs. <laughs> Our new favorite combination. What, what do you want to call this strategy? Take. Take. take oh, it still right. didn't move? Okay. Wait, but why though? What? Wait, do you have to climb up and then drop something from the top to move it? Be dumb. Let's do it. <laughs> it's fine. We just had a blood moon. It's not gonna come for like another uh, like hour or two. Uh, higher up. Can't wait for there to be like uh, a second Hinox up here. You killed my brother. Mm. Well, there's there's a goat, but not a Hinox. Uh, it didn't kill it. Uh, you threw a woodcutter's axe. It's like one of the weakest weapons in the game. Well, um, shit. I don't want to die from jumping up here. Wait, there's a barrel, right? Maybe the barrel has enough weight to, like, move the thing as, like, a fulcrum. The empty barrel? Yeah. You, I don't know. The, the, physics, the physics in this game are weird sometimes. Or maybe that's the thing that needs to be lifted and the, and the other, uh... We can stasis it. It that seems to be the only thing we can do to it. Okay, try try hitting it with literally anything then, and let's see what happens. There we go. You're overthinking it. Oh, you triggered the electric power. Who cares? I got three of them, and I never use them. I was gonna say you could have used that against the Hinox, or like nah, against that's too, mobs. That that takes way too long to charge. It'd be risky as shit. Remember when you, in the beginning you were like, I want to use the fucking, like, spin attack on everything. Alright, now what happens? What does that summon? Where does it summon? It's probably a shrine. Yeah, I know, but where? Is it on now top that there's the nothing thing? left to do on this island, we have, like, permanent access to it. I mean, it's a nice island. You can just farm, like, uh, crabs and stuff. There is a Hinox. Yeah, you can farm Pinox. I will now return your things as promised. Yeah, you better. Okay. Yeah. Fucking Bob. Resurrection Bob. Come enter the shrine. It's probably on top of the hill. Yeah, okay. I guess I had too many weapons, so I got rid of all the weapons. Yeah, did it... Did you keep the food? Oh, I hope so. You check. 
Because you made you made multiple stuff uh, on the island. Uh, yeah, uh, I have my cooked crabs and things. Yay! It knew what you needed to do. Uh, I, I thought it was on top of the hill. I mean, I thought it was uh, up there. It was kind of vague where the shrine was. Like, from... This is like kind of a mini dungeon, in a way. Has there ever been a dungeon that's just been an island, like with beaches and like and like trees and stuff? Not that I can remember. Damn it! That's a that's a missed opportunity. The island temple. The island, not just an island, but it's like in the format of a temple. You fight crabs and and stuff. And then, uh, and then the, the, the temple boss is Cthulhu. Maple Story had a beach area. That's an MMO, though, so that's kind of, that doesn't really count. Yeah. This better be a blessing. <laughs> you have earned the right to try my puzzle. No! Good. It is. A blessing. Resurrection Bob has deemed you've suffered enough. Alright, what did they give you? I watched you fight that high Nox. I was laughing rupees. merrily. 300 rupees. That's that's pretty good. Just like here, here's 300 bucks. You've earned it. Thanks, Bob. Bob's like, you, you... You're stronger than I gave you credit for, kid. You threw bombs like a fucking champ. Well, now I know how to beat the shrine. Thank you for showing me. I'm, I'm, I'm amazed those explosive barrels didn't do more to the Hinox. The rock did more. Alright, well, uh... I, that, that seems uh, like a good stopping point for today. Yeah, yeah. We we'll come back dungeon. next time and uh, we'll do the the rest of the Zora stuff. Yeah, and then uh, yeah, off screen. You're uh, what are you gonna do off screen? Oh, I don't know. Well, I have now the bulk of the Zora area that I'm able to explore. Oh, you know what you could do? You could try. You could try and like do like the Goron side stuff, or not the Goron, the Gerudo side stuff, so you can get access to the Thunder Helm. Oh, that too. Yeah. I did, I gotta do that. Well, I sh yeah. should do that before we do the Zora stuff because of the electricity. Yeah. But uh, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Probably Tony Hawk next weekend. Oh we'll yeah, that'd be how we're that'd feeling. Be fun. Yeah. All right. See you guys later. See you guys later.